All right, hello, hello, is this thing on? Yo, what's up? Welcome to the Stream Escapees Wednesday edition. Yeah. All right, I'm just joking. Anyways, let me fix the headset, get it, you know, off, fixed right off the bat. All right, just wait for the audio to come back up. We'll do a little testing here. Testing, testing. One, two, three. It works. Sorry for the uh, dramatization of that. Alright, I'm just gonna refresh this because it doesn't show Starfield as our game. At least it doesn't show over here. Oh, there it is. Okay, good, good, good. Now I know we're on the right category. Excellent. Alright, today's tweet. Starving streamer trying to make ends meet. Going live now. More side questing on Starfield. Had a lot of fun doing some random stuff yesterday. So I think we'll continue with that. Twitch.tv slash soulscape is where we're at. That's twitch.tv slash soul underscore three sc four p three. Welcome to the channel, you guys. Need some oilers in chat, please, escapees. September is quickly ending and we have not gotten that many subs. I think I'm still around 30 or so. Um, but yeah, if anybody could help me out, please consider doing so. If you got any extra money lying around, you want to, you know, throw some bits and all that, that'd be amazing. But yeah, so I'm going to have to, now that September's kind of coming to a close, I think I should probably, I should have probably done it before, but I think I really need to start pushing like, hey, it's September. But uh, yeah, I thought people would, you know, maybe gift a few subs naturally and all that, but I think I might have to actually kind of pedal. Do a little pedaling. Well, anyways, that was the tweet right there. I added a couple hashtags. <laughs> so, yes, I did publicly just ask for Oilers. Hey, I'm desperate here. Desperate times call for desperate situations. Yo, what up, Rambo? Welcome to the stream. I won't give you the first hype because I know you don't like it. I'll just test it out for myself. <laughs> there we go. Yeah! Good to see you. Happy hump day, Rambo. Happy Wednesday out there. Hope you're doing well. All right, those were the tweets. Look good, look good. Nice. Next thing's next. I do have a nice little picture to throw out to you. L Snapchat. And I'm going to quickly take that same photo and, oops, I don't want to make it into a reel, I want to make it into a post. There we are, live now. Let me throw that caption on. You know what? Let's uh, add a good location. Today we're in Par we're in Tokyo. We're in Tokyo, Japan. All right. Let's see here. I think we're good. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm going to send that picture over to our Facebook stories. And one last place, I'm going to go to Twitter, copy paste that tweet. There we go. And paste it over to threads. Yep, I'm finally on Instagram jail, you guys. Been out since the 11th of September. For a while, I was restricted or I couldn't comment. Just because I defended myself when somebody was being really rude on Instagram. They were telling me all sorts of like terrible things. And so I just told them to fuzz off and I blocked them. And then I'm the one that got in trouble. Surprise. Oh, nice. Doing some socializing. That's badass. 
Yeah, I'd rather be great gaming for reals. Yeah, I do feel you. I, I understand that. Well, I hope you have fun though. Family vacations are always a good time. At least for, you know, the first day or two. <laughs> you know what they say after three days, people and fish start to stink. Oh, that means when guests stay too long, you know, that's when you start to get irritated. Just in case, you know, somebody doesn't understand the subtle art of sarcasm and innuendos. All right, let's see here. I think that's pretty much everything we need to do. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. One more thing. I'm gonna copy paste that over to Discord as well. Let's at everyone. The link right there. Do 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 do. Looks good. All right, we should be live out on Discord as well. Excellent. All right. Thank you for hanging out with me, escapees. Yo, what's up, Rickle Tickle Tabby? How are you feeling? Hope you're feeling a little bit better. Welcome in. Welcome to the stream. Yo, what's up, Bimbiggins? How's the stream going? Welcome into the channel. Thank you for joining us. Just getting started and stuff. So a little bit of a recap on what we did yesterday is uh, I didn't go on camera yesterday. I was too lazy to like straighten my hair and slap on the makeup and all that. So we did a no camera stream. I finished a few side quests and I actually had a really good time doing all that little side missioning. So I think we're going to continue that today. So no worries about any mo main spoiler stuff, main quest spoilers or anything like that. Um, I mean, I might still talk about the main quest. Of course, you know I'm going to talk about the main quest. So spoilers that way, but we're not going to progress it any farther to the point that I've gotten to. Uh, just to anybody that's been watching previous streams and stuff. So uh, yeah, we're just going to do a little side questing today. Yay! Yesterday we, I think, knocked out between three to four side quests. I know we finished one in the well. We figured out that somebody was trying to scam Galbank and uh, using like a super high powered computer or a bunch of modems or whatever. They're kind of doing like a little crypto scheme in one of the apartments over in New Atlantis. So we shut that down. Um, the other side quest, we got some guy uh, special sauce, chunks special sauce for his restaurant. But we figured out at the end it was probably for himself. Uh, what else do we do? I think we did, yeah, we did like a couple of bounties, if I'm not mistaken, in the beginning of the game. And... Oh, yes, um... We did a quest for the bartender lady over at the viewport in New Atlantis. So, long story short, we were kind of focused on the New Atlantis area and just knocking out some of those, like, early type side quests. So I'll probably be hanging around New Atlantis. Next, I do have a lot of quests over in Cheyenne or Aquila, where Sam Coe's from. Uh, all my companions are... Well, I figured out where they were. I thought they were up in the eye, you know, helping out Vladimir and stuff for the main quest, the next part of it. But no, they're actually in the lodge. And so I wandered into the lodge trying to go and put some stuff away off stream yesterday, did a little bit of inventory management. And uh, I ran into them, you know, talking and having like a nice little chat. And so I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I reloaded it because they were saying some good things. So I'll save that conversation with them for a little bit later in the stream, maybe not even the stream. Uh, possibly when we start pushing the main quest again and stuff. Nice, Rick. Hey, I'm glad that you're feeling a little bit better, though. Yeah, back to doing what you were doing before. That's true. Uh, Rambo said, I finished New Atlantis, traveled to a new system, but not been ba back to the game yet. But that's pretty good, though, Rambo. Hey. Getting into even playing some 76 and stuff. Dude, I, uh, I slacked last night. I was supposed to do my dailies last night and I didn't get to any of them so I missed out on all those points but well hopefully we'll get to it. All right escapees let's get this stream started officially in five four three two one welcome to the soul stream thank you for hanging out escapees once again it is September woo 
Ooh, and we haven't gotten that many subs, sadly. Please consider subscribing or gift subscribing people in the chat. That would be amazing, you guys. I know I gotta start pushing it, escapees. We're September 20th and I barely have like 30 subscribers. I know I'm struggling here. I'm struggling. If any Oilers are in the chat who have any extra bits or money to donate and stuff, please, you won't find a more deserving streamer than Soul Escape right here. Pretty please, please. No, I'm just joking. Start begging for it. I mean, come on, dude. <laughs> I have viewers that have watched me for years and they're not even subscribed. Just being honest. Not that they have to. Twitch is free. But, um, you know, it does kind of... Uh, I have to hold my tongue sometimes when some of my longer term viewers, especially some of the regulars, they start complaining about ads and stuff. I'm like, well, you know, if you subscribe, you wouldn't have that problem. <laughs> but uh, I don't know, I guess people don't think I'm worth it. So, but you know, it happens, escapees. Yeah, have a good one, Rambo. Have a nice time with family. We wish you the best. All right, so on my own, Last night, I was doing a little bit of planet exploration. Not just willy-nilly out of nowhere, though. No, this is for a bounty. And I've run into some issues, though, sadly. I think in order to complete some of these survey bounties, um, I might need to like upgrade my dang scanner and stuff because there is a creature. I'm not sure if he's out here. Yes, there he is. There's a creature called the Shoaling Sea Hag. Oh yeah, I can finally reach him. See, and if he's not swimming close enough, I'm not able to scan him. So I've been finding some of these damn sea hags. Damn it, see, I can't scan that other one that's, oh, oh, he's, he's far gone now, he, he's gone. He's gone. He might come back though. But yeah, and you might be thinking, well, just go into the water, soul. Go into the water. Okay, I'll show you what happens when I go into the water. I'm going in the water. Hey, I'm not dead yet, though. Okay, there we go, there we go. It took a while this time. Last time, because I had been in this environment for so long, as soon as I stepped in the water, I would die. But anyways, you can't be, long story short, you can't be in the water that long because there's microbes, bacteria, things like that. And uh, yeah, it starts to mess up your suit and stuff, so. Ah, so yeah, I'm thinking I might have to, either I need a suit that protects against that water and microbes and I just haven't found it yet, or I need uh, to upgrade my scanner. Because I've passed a ton of these sea hags and they're like not, there's only been like about two or three that have gotten close enough to the edge for me to scan. See, there's at least, oh, there we go, there we go. Dude, we might get lucky. Yes. All right, all right. Hey, this gives me hope, escapees. I was walking along this damn quest line, or along the shoreline last night for like, oh man, I want to see at least one to two hours. And very rarely one of those little creatures would be close enough to scan. But yeah, this is how you do it if you're doing a planet survey. Basically, you just have to go around looking for all the different fauna, the different flora, and the different resources. But if you can see on the bottom right, my health and stuff, I was spending too much time kind of traversing the water. You can see right there on the bottom left, it says microbial contamination. That starts to affect your health pretty badly, so. And then I have to use, you know, different remedies in my, uh, in my aid category. So I'll have to use different like bandages and stuff to fix that or an injector or whatever they call it. That's a nice sunset though. All right, let's see. There's a shoaling hag right here. Oh, oh, yeah, but see, it's definitely not close enough to scan. Oh, 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 got him in the water. Okay. Whew. Water bad. Scanning stuff, good. Oh, it looks like he might be coming closer. No, I wish. I don't think he's coming closer. I got lucky one time, and it's fuzzed up, but I shot one of these guys. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's working. Okay. 
That's another way to scan them. True, true. It's kind of random though. Oh, look at that. Oh, so sad. Well, you know, his ass wouldn't come to the shore, so that's what happens sometimes. <laughs> I could have sworn there was an outline over there. Then it disappeared. The other one must have, yeah, he hightailed it out of here. I can't even see the name pop up for that other sea hag that was around. He's like, this, and noped out. Oh, oh, there he is, there he is. Right, I'm gonna try the same thing. Ah, see, sometimes they, they disappear, they start running. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we got lucky, we got lucky. Get his ass. Where's he going, where's he going? Oh, he's right there somewhere. Oh, 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 we got his ass, we got his ass. He's coming this way too, he's pissed. I'm just like shooting blindly. Dude, how'd it get so dark? Whoo! Nighttime on this planet is scary. There must be like no moon for uh, any light or anything. Oh, I lost my prey. Oh, there he is, there he is. There's the scum. Somewhere around there. Oh, oh, he's smart, he's a smart one. Yeah, he's, he's long gone, you guys, I don't think. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get him, sadly. <laughs> What's up, post of bliss? How would you rate the game? I've been getting, ton uh, getting tons of 6 out of 10s from streamers. 10 out of 10! 11 out of 10! Best game ever! Game of the year! It's amazing if you're not playing it. If you gave it a 6 out of 10, you're probably on PlayStation and didn't get to play this game at all. 10 out of 10! 10 out of 10! Alright, hope that helps. Yo, what's up, February 13th? Welcome to the stream! Uh, I have not seen any messages yet, but if you sent me one, thank you! Woo! <laughs> Happy Wednesday, you guys. No, I don't usually, I'll be 100% honest, I don't really check my Xbox messages too much. Hell, I even barely check my Instagram messages! <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I'll try to check it out later, February. I'm sure it's something uh, extremely important. Extremely. I'm sure can't wait at all either. No, I'm just kidding. Sorry, I'm just being a little sarcastic. Being a little sassy today. Alright, uh, okay, let's get out of here, Scapees. I was just trying to showcase how hard it is to scan some of these damn water creatures sometimes. <sighs> these fucking water creatures making me mad! No, I'm kidding. It's not that bad. All right, no, 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 honestly, I think I'd probably just need to upgrade my scanner a little bit. All right, let's see here. On to other things then, shall we? Uh, let's pop up in our mission tab. I kind of want, so that was just the survey mission. I do get big buck credits though, if we uh, complete it. I think this one was worth like 3,000 to 5,000 credits, somewhere in that range. And it was like a high 3,000 if it was 3,000. Uh, let's see here. What do I have? Landing on Neon. Yeah, I did see the Xbox leaks. Oh, I'm excited for um, Fallout 3 Remaster and Oblivion Remaster. Ooh, I hope they keep those, you know, in the line and stuff. We're supposedly getting a Starfield DLC maybe sometime next year. Um, they've been working on it for a while, too, maybe in a couple months or so. Well, not a couple, but like you know, a good six, seven months. But yeah, I did see the uh, Xbox leaks. What'd you guys think of them? I heard a lot of people excited for new Doom. Yeah, I'm so my seven kids are starving because I have not gotten any September subscribers this whole stream. I've been working so hard, escapees, my damn seven kids, running around, screaming in the living room, completely unsupervised. Oh, thank you so much. Ku30, welcome to the stream. Hark now, what do I hear? I'm gonna buy my kids some delicious treats and food. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Side note, that is clickbait. I don't have any kids at all whatsoever. 
I mean, my seven kids running around unsupervised. They're hungry. Some of them are pooped. And, uh, you know, we don't have money for diapers or anything like that. So, no, thank you so much, C30s. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Woo! But it is true about the September part, sadly. I don't get a lot of subscribers. Um, but, you know, that's okay. <laughs> It's okay, I understand. Thank you so much. Let's give a new sub hype over to Coos. Oh, it was a gift sub. Oh, thank you for the gift sub. Oh my God. Didn't even subscribe themselves. They subscribed somebody else. Now that is the sign of a true viewer. No, I'm just joking. Yeah, it's nice to see you too, see you 30s. Welcome in, thank you again for the gift sub. That's amazing. Yeah, I've been doing some clickbait streams, escapees. I, well, I've been streaming for eight years here on Twitch and my titles have always been, you know, just boring generic titles. Like, uh, for example, uh, Starfield, Day 11, Xbox Series X, Live Now. You know, things like that. Main quest, side quest only things like that. And so I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to mix it up. I've never been a clickbaiter, so I'm going to kind of start, you know, clickbaiting, just saying whatever the hell I want on my titles. So uh, yeah, today's streaming to feed my seven kids. Yeah, please help. Please. I do need the help part, but I just don't have the seven kids yet. <laughs> I am poor. That part is true. This is my only job. And uh, sadly, it does not pay very well at all. I honestly, I do stream directly through the Xbox, but I'm being 100% honest here, you guys. Uh, if and when Kick Streaming allows us to stream to Kick, I am 100% willing to maybe not leave Twitch all the way, but I'm definitely going to do some Kick Streams escapees because their revenue split for uh, streamers, partnered streamers, or even their affiliates and all that, the sub split between them and the streamers, I think, is 95. 95% to the streamer and 5% to Kick and the owners. And who knows how long that's gonna, you know, stay like that, but uh, that's pretty nice. I mean, I, I would love to get 95% of, you know, the subscriptions that I make here on Twitch and stuff. So but yeah, thank you. If anyone else can, uh, you know, feel free to support the stream. That'd be amazing. I'll stream more often and stuff. Oh, it's a Starfield photo. Nice, February. And there is one kid, a kitty cat. Yeah, I do have a kitty cat. I have a dog. I buy my dog uh, dog treats. I mean, those are like you know, 20 bucks each and stuff. <laughs> we already lost some viewers and people are like, oh, I'm not going to give this lady money. I know, Twitch is free. It's true. But hey, I never talk about money either, so... Yep, right now we have 31 subscribers, which is not bad. But at the same time, I know we could do a lot better, Scapey, especially in September. Anyways, I'll continue. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, I have no idea about that one, Postopulus. Uh, Postopulus said, uh, what's your thoughts on how Xbox will lead the console industry in 2026? I don't know, I guess that means I'm switching to PlayStation 2 or something. I actually used to be a huge Nintendo fan. I had Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Advance SP, Nintendo DS, and then I had the GameCube and the Wii. And I cut it off at the Wii because I did not, I figured out I was a fat kid growing up and stuff, figured out I did not want to be moving around when I played my video games. So I, I left Nintendo at the Wii and that's when I jumped over to Xbox. And purely because most of my friends in high school had Xbox, so it was just easy transition stuff. I've actually never had anything against PlayStation. I think PlayStation's great too. I love JRPGs. I used to play a ton of JRPGs on GameCube as well, but, uh, well, you know, gave up on the Wii. Yeah, the uh, in Game Boy Advance SP, the little foldable one, that was awesome. Yeah. Uh, Corporal Oreo said I wanted to move to kick a lot, but a lot of big streamers went to it already and are getting that easy money. Not sure what the rules are to get into kick. It's pretty easy. It's not that bad. Um, 
I think if you want to make affiliate on Kick, you only need... It's kind of the same as here on Twitch, like about 50 followers and like three concurrent viewers or something. Which isn't bad at all, you know? And then all of a sudden, you know, after that you can uh, get that sub button and stuff. Pretty nice. But always remember, we gotta pay taxes on this money too. I know when tax season comes around, that's when uh, stream being a streamer on Twitch and on Kick starts to become a pain in the butt. That's for sure. And yes, I do pay taxes for streaming, so that's why I consider it a real job. I'm like, hey, occasionally I have to pay out money too, so it's only when we have COVID and stuff that's when I get a nice little break. <laughs> but since I don't have kids and I'm not married and all that, whew, tax season's a little rough on me. But uh, yeah, that's always why it's a good idea to, you know, set aside some extra money or, you know, always be saving. Uh, all right, let's see here. We're gonna start up a new quest, new side quest. Only side quest today. And yeah, you know what? Let me just zoom out to... We were working on a lot of stuff over in New Atlantis. I think we should continue doing that because there's still a few things that I have to do here. Let's go to Jemison. Oops, wrong planet. Jemison. Oh, funny side story. And I got a clip of it. I was not streaming though. This happened off stream, but I did record it because I thought it was hilarious. But um, I went to a planet and I was strictly there just to transport some workers. I was like on one of those Uber bounty missions where you just have to use your ship to transport somebody from one place to another. Okay, so I did that. I went to this weird planet and right next in the spaceport, right next to my ship, there was another ship, a UC Econo Hall, and nobody was around. And it was just me and the adoring fan. And I was like, hmm. I'm like, I wonder what would happen if I were to, you know, maybe break into this hatch here. I just wanted to see who the workers were up there, right? And so I see this empty UC United Colonies Econo Hall ship and stuff, right? Nobody's around, I go up to the hatch, it has an advanced lock on it. I save the game, I lockpick the lock, thinking, oh, well, you know, if they shoot me out, then I'll, you know, I just wanted to look, just wanted to see the ship, right? And so I go in there, and it's empty, completely empty. Nobody, as far as I could tell, was in there. No captain, no crew, nobody. And so I'm like, this is a completely empty spaceship. And it's one of those that has like the double cargo on it, you know, two boxes of cargo on each side. I'm like, it looks like a lot of cargo space. I mean, and so I looked around and I told the adoring fan not to judge me. And I got in the pilot seat and I fucking flew off that planet with that uh, econo hall I just stole from the UC, got no bounty. And the funniest part, it's on the clip too. I got to uh, edit it and post it and stuff. But um, what happened is, as I'm taking off in that stolen UC Econo Hall that I just robbed, somebody, some voice, it's not the adoring fan's voice, he has a very specific voice, but someone, maybe like a crew member that I must have like flown off with, he says something like, hey, I got something for you, or something like that, you know, like what one of our companions says when they have something to give us. Well, a completely different voice out of nowhere as I'm flying out of the atmosphere says, Hey, I got something for you. And I was like, who the f*** is that? And I'm like, oh man, don't tell me that, you know, I accidentally, when I was stealing this ship, that I robbed one of the crew members with it. So, you know, I quickly exit by holding the B button. And I get up and I go and I start investigating. And I don't see any crew member, none whatsoever besides the adoring fan. So I'm like, where the heck did that voice come from? I don't know, it's really weird. Really, really strange. Um, but yeah, but I also also have a new ship. Woo! And I registered it and everything. So now it's officially mine. You know, it's all legal. And the cargo space, I think, is like 2,000 or something. It's crazy compared to, I think my biggest cargo as of yet is like 840. So yeah, I robbed some plane and literally no one was around. It was in a normal world. I wasn't, you know, there for any reason whatsoever besides dropping off these two workers and stuff and picking up my, my credits as a reward. And uh, yeah, well, I got a free ship as a reward too. Well, not technically free. I had to register it for 9,000 something. But yeah, pretty cool. I know, I'm so proud of myself. 
<laughs> I stole a ship. Literally, like, nobody was on it, though. It was so easy. It was like taking candy from a baby. Uh, let's see here. So we, we do have a couple quests. I can talk to you, Sergeant Yumi, but I think that starts up, like, the, uh... A quest for a faction. I don't think I want to start up any faction stuff just yet. Let's just get into New Atlantis. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to. Uh, there we go. Let's get into New Atlantis in general. But yeah, I'll show you guys that ship later if anybody wants to see it. It's pretty cool. I haven't done anything to it, like, I haven't edited it or, or fixed the paint job or anything, but it has a cool, slightly green paint job that makes me kind of want to keep that color scheme a little bit. Because I already have a purple and black ship. Uh, that's the one that we're using right now. But I think I do want to use that Econo Hall. It's a feast for the eyes, a dessert for the senses. And now I'm hungry. Why do you sound like you have your helmet on, fan? And uh, you look like quite a feast for my eyes, too. Still trying to hit up on him. Even though he quite clearly friend zoned me when I asked him about it. I'm like, do you like me as more than a friend? He was like, oh heavens no! I'm like, oh, well then. To the outpost you go, get off my ship. Kicked him off. Nah, I still have much love for the adoring fan. I, you know, hey, it hurts being rejected. What can I say? We still twin though sometimes, right fan? We twins in. Yeah, yesterday we even took a nice little screenshot photo together, didn't we? Come on, adoring fan. I want some of my kids to have blonde hair too and blue eyes. Can't be hoarding up the blonde hair, blue eyes, or your eyes green. If they're green, that's even better. <laughs> I want those jeans. No, I'm just joking. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm just trolling. All right, let's see here. So, trolling aside. What do we got? I can't remember which of these. Mm, I know some of these are in... What Sar Sergeant Yumi, what does she want? Just curious. Man, maybe I should just talk to some of these people. Loose ends is neon. Sarah Filburn, I think that one is one of the Aquila missions. Also Aquila, uh, Aquila as well for Kiani Alpin. Heard a distress call from the private Mahoney. You know what? All right, random ass quest. Let's go help out these Free Star Collective people. I'm not part of that faction, but Sam is. And it just kind of sounds, well, I mean, I don't know. I just see right there, it says they urgently need help. And I'm pretty sure it's been like months and months in game that I've been ignoring these poor guys. All right, fuzz it. Said urgently, sounds, sounds urgent. Urgent enough. All right, we're just jumping a few planets. Okay, we got our first quest. There we go. I found a gift. I hope it's worthy of your gaze. See, adoring fan found a gift for us, or for us, I should say. Oh man! So I was watching another streamer play Starfield yesterday, and somebody in their chat said something hilarious. So uh, the streamer leveled up, and it played that one music like bah, 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 or something like that, right? And they're like, "Oh, I forgot this game had." Uh, that Hunger Game type music and I was like Hunger Games and I was remembering yeah it does kind of have similar music remember in Hunger Games when they're uh, introducing the players like Katniss Everdeen and the other people I don't remember their names you know how it had like those iconic poses they're like you know and the music in the background was like bah, bah, bah. I don't know, I couldn't unhear it though after that. I was like, that's hilarious. It does slightly sound like Hunger Games type music. All right, let's see here. So we are supposed to be helping out some uh, free spacers or what are they called again? Free staters. 
those country type cowboys that we all know and love. Yo, what's up, Nervous Nugs? Welcome to the stream. Happy Wednesday, Nervous Nugs. Oh, let's see here. Let me just straight up exit. Oh, I you know what? a lot of unique fauna. Ooh, I wonder if oh, they'll oh, let oh, us oh. pet them. Right away, I see an enemy. Okay, so my affliction has cleared. Oh, okay. Side note. I named my weapons! Woo! Yes! So on that other person's stream, I was watching a different streamer play Starfield, and he was like, yeah, I just learned you could rename your weapons and stuff. Now, I knew we could rename the ship. I did not know we could rename weapons, so I went ham on that yesterday. My shotgun here is called Bust Your Door Down. I have a little Eon pistol, her first purse pistol. Uh, this one, a hilarious gun here. This is the Stormtrooper's Delight. You just got to see it to know hmm. why I call it Maybe. that. Um, you so know what? Let me, let me show you guys with actual pictures here. So, shotgun. Bust your door down. The Fiscal Quarter was already named, so I left it like that. We found it with that particular name. I switched Heller's Cutter to Heller's Mom's Cutter. <laughs> I know, I know. Hilarious. Uh, here's her first purse pistol. My little small golden pistol right there. Low key, high key for the sniper rifle, because you know, you gotta stay low key, but high key because it's gonna blast somebody's head off. <laughs> Mommy's tremolo bar, if you guys play guitar, tremolo bar, you, it's kind of like a whammy bar, you go, which reminds me of, you know, the fast SMG. So, Mommy's tremolo bar. <laughs> Rechargeable batteries for my laser gun just because I thought that was funny. And I put the skin on it too. I also modded out my weapons off stream. So, uh, I don't, you know, I don't have any skills in my mod branch, skill tree, whatever you want to call it. I don't have any skill points in that, so I was only able to put basic mods, but I did make some of these weapons a little bit better. Now, as for the knife, I was going to call this the backstabber, but I could not find the option to rename the knife it did not show up in the weapons workbench. In other words, I couldn't mod it at all either, so. Stormtrooper's Delight. There you go, this is why this looks, or this is why I called it like that, because it looks funny. It shoots out laser beams, a little crazy sometimes. And that's it. But yeah. Now I have some hilarious gun names. I hope you guys like some of those. <laughs> Bigsby guy. What's a Bigsby guy, M. Biggins? Out here. All right. Just you. Oh, and then the other thing that I was complaining is I forgot to give this guy a gun. So the adoring fan, when he goes into battle, he's going to be using his fists. So uh, yeah, good luck to him. All right, since we're going into battle right away, I'm not going in my plain clothes. Only a crazy person will go in their plain clothes. Let's go. Uh, okay, we suited up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm also a little bit ill. So my health status is, I have burns and cellulitis, no! We'll have to fix that. Let's go in the inventory, open up that aid. And I'm gonna wanna look for something that has, yes. We can use some antibiotics for the cellulitis. And now I need something for the burns. So we're looking for that little orange triangle icon right here looks good yeah let's do heal paste or heal gel heal paste all right now we're good perfect health perfect health just like the doctor ordered all right let's go in move in move 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 let's go no cover all right let's see you know what i'm gonna easy my way Oh, oh, Jesus! Uh, you know what? I have a stabby too. Oh my god, I just killed the adoring man. Well, what are you doing running in front of me? You saw me grab the knife. I just stabbed him in the back of the head. That's so terrible. I know, I feel so bad. Alright, spread out, adoring fan, spread out. 
Alright. Oh, oh, oh! Somebody's throwing stuff over there. Look at that. Boxes are flying. They're pissed. You know what? This just got unpredictable. Let's bring out the shotgun. Yeah, yeah, I knew one of you would be up here. Surprise! Oh! Uh, didn't think that was gonna break. That's a little crazy. Alright, seems nobody's up here. Perfect time to use a little low-key, high-key, huh? I missed every single shot. <laughs> but it was an effort. Alright, let's see, let's see. Oh, that one right there? There we go, there we go, we got him, we got him. There's supposed to be a way to like take cover and look around stuff, but either I haven't unlocked that skill yet or I just don't know how to do it very well. Alright, got another guy. Good, good. Alright, there, there goes one right in the open. <laughs> Imagine being right in the open. No, I literally did the same thing a few minutes ago. He's trying to copy us. Alright, this guy's a little far though. Oh, there we go, there we go. We shouldn't have stood up. We shouldn't have stood up. Alright, one more. Oh, there he is, there he is. He's taking, he's taking flight. He's running. We got a runner. Alright, I'm gonna have to go after him. Uh, I don't want to break my ankle though. All right, just uh, not even gravity can stop you. Don't worry, Doran fan. I'm gonna get you a gun pretty soon. We just gotta, you know, pry one off of these dead guys' cold, furled fingers. Uh, I'm going. I'm going. Yeah, I can't let that spacer get onto my ship. He's gonna rob us. Oh, there he is. Oh, the trucker. Where are you going? Get over here. Like scorpion. Get over here. Nice, nice. High five, you guys. Psh, all in a day's work. Um, I think there's one more guy. At least according to my mini-map down there. Oh my god, you scared the crap out of me, adoring fan. I nearly, nearly... Uh, wanted to shoot him there. I was like, oh! Yeah, there's one more guy, supposedly. Or it could be a turret. Somewhere in this direction. Alright. Try, uh, time to uh, loot the bodies, loot the corpses, time for the goods. I know, I'm sorry, Panda, I felt so bad about that. I know, you know what, where are you, dude? Hey, uh, you know, look. Oh, you picked up your own gun, yes! Woo! He's learning, escapees, he's learning. <laughs> GG, Adorn fan, good for you. Did you pick up some ammo, too? I mean, you know, need some ammo with that gun. Yeah, I was just about to, you know, give him another one. Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh, no time for chatting! Take him out! There we go, there we go, we're good. Shout out to my gun, the low-key, high-key right there. Alright, that was the last guy, apparently. <laughs> Thought he was a turret for a second. Yeah, I felt bad, dude. I was not trying to stab the adoring fan. It's just a spacer came up, tried to shank me. I think the spacer did shank me. I just had my armor on, got lucky there. And so I was like, oh yeah, you wanna see my stabbing weapon? I'll show you my stabbing weapon. And uh, yeah, I went to do it. And lo and behold, look who's in the way. Standing right in the back of the head or like the neck area. That was a little sad though. You know what? That would make a great clip or highlight later. I'll add a... Uh, a marker there. There we go. Sometimes on the weekend I'll rewatch the streams and try to find like funny moments and stuff. But uh, it does take a little bit of a, a while, sadly. Uh, so we're just here, you guys. We're trying to help out. I think the uh, the Free State Rangers. It's the Ranger faction that Sam Coe's a part of. They're the Rangers, but I forgot what the first part of their name was. I think it's Free State. I sh I'm sure we'll figure it out soon enough, though. All right, just looting though. We just wiped out some of these spacers. I'll uh, 
I'll attend to you in a bit too, adoring fan. Gotta give him a few weapons. I mean, he has one, thankfully. He picked one up, but, uh... Yeah, that's why he went in. He went in to go punch that other guy, which, you know, he was just trying to protect me. Just like a good adoring fan would do. Bless your heart, adoring fan. Um, yeah, he saw the guy come up and stab me. He wanted to punch him. And by that time, I had gotten my knife out and was ready to stab. And, well, you know, just bad timing on all of us parts. <laughs> Blame it on all of us. Blame the victim, right? Fall, he got stabbed. It's your fault you stabbed him. No, no, it was just bad circumstances, bad timing. Don't take any accountability. Blame somebody else. Oh, damn! Yeah, there was a bit of a fight between it's my second different people in the galaxy. when we got Isn't here, so. Reading about you? Thank you, adoring fan. Uh, I missed the first part of what you said, though. Now, all these UC Marines were on drugs. I just picked up some drugs, some Squall and the other one. Just battle enhancers or something like that. <laughs> Little snake oil. I wonder what snake oil is for. Probably to craft something. But yeah, I did mod out some of my weapons, so some of them have like a little laser laser sight. Ooh, epic knife. Low-key sad, I do get a lot of like legendary and epic knives. And it's like, man, I want a legendary freaking assault rifle or an SMG or something. Not so many legendary and epic knives. I mean, I'm barely even melee. I have one just because, you know, it's fun to mess with, but that's about it. Yeah, there might be stuff in those storage containers. I guess we could take a look. Ooh, lithium. All right, I'll take one. Copper? Ooh. Not bad. What's this? Oh, is this one of the local creatures? That's kind of creepy. Ooh. Never seen this type of a spider before. That's a spider that carries its web on its back. Gross. I know, right? My title today. I'm like, help my starving children. I told the, a sob story earlier, Panda, about how my kids were all running around in the uh, living room, nobody taking care of them. <laughs> Got no food to eat. We're all having crusts of bread and cheese. Yeah, it's a hard life. It's a hard knock life for us. It's a hard knock life for us. But at least the camera fixed itself. Yay. Yep, somehow camera exploded yesterday, but hey, it's working today. Look at that how that happened, huh? Yeah, the camera unexploded, exactly. I'm doing well, thank you for asking, Panda. Yeah, not bad. Good Wednesday so far. Um, nothing to report. Went for a jog yesterday. No complaints there, thankfully. Ooh, brown Neo City wear. I've never even heard of this Ubitrium. I'll take it. I hear constellations been connecting up. This guy had like a sniper rifle, huh? Looked like it. Uh today though in the game we are doing some more side questing. We're just kinda What is this? Can I scan it? Oh that's cool, I can scan this bucket. Nice. Um yeah, today we're gonna do some side questing. I liked yesterday's stream, even though we weren't on camera. Um, it was still pretty fun. Getting some of these side missions done and out of our list. Get off my list. Damn side missions. That and I don't really want, I'm kind of having fun with the adoring fan. Usually I have a member of Constellation as my companion and stuff, so. Having an adoring fan's kind of different. I like it. Sad that, you know, he doesn't really have a too interesting of a storyline. 
What's this? Meal plate? Oh, it is a meal tray. Hell yeah. Is this a meal tray on the bottom and I just kind of went past it? Oh, utensil tray. Can't eat that. Damn it. Can't eat any silver forks. Oh. Requires a key. We're locked out. But yeah, how about you, Panda? How's your day going? And anybody else that I haven't asked or if you're just coming into the stream, how are you guys doing? What's up, everybody? What are you doing in Starfield if you're playing Starfield? Uh, also, what do you guys think about those Xbox game leaks? If you haven't seen them, I did tweet about them yesterday, I believe. I'm excited for Fallout 3 Remaster, Oblivion Remaster. However, some of those may or may not have been, you know, have gotten canceled. This, that list has changed quite a bit. Uh, Starfield supposedly, according to the list, was supposed to come out 2020. Obviously, it's 2023. It just came out. There's a DLC planned for it uh, that was supposed to come out, I think, this year or something, or maybe 2022. So I wouldn't expect that for another mm, six to next year. Six months to next year, I would say. But just estimating. All right, just looking around. We slaughtered a bunch of peeps here. Am I in the right spot? Wait a minute. I was like, wait a minute. No, it's not. Oh, I think I'm in the wrong spot. Did I just kill these people for no reason whatsoever? Oh my goodness. The reason I'm saying that is my quest marker is leading me back to my ship. Did I land in the wrong area? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, what happened was... Oh, okay, I see. What happened was, I flew into a certain galaxy here, the Altair galaxy, and it automatically switched me to looking for the artifact temple here in this galaxy area. Okay, well, I didn't want to do that. I said I wanted to do... Where's it at? Ground Pounder, we're finding Private Mahoney. All right, now where am I at? If I'm on the wrong planet, I'm gonna be pissed, dude. Okay, okay, we're on the right planet, okay. I can calm down, pet the kitty. Okay, okay, these deaths were not in vain. It's okay. I know the freaking quest marker was leading me back to my ship. I was like, no, we're just joking. Okay, good, good, good. Yes, yes, yes. That door looks better. Excellent. All right, I think I'm ready. I don't know. I, I checked as much as I could check. Well, I didn't really check that area too well, but we were up there for a bit. Checked in there, I believe. And this side I kind of missed. Oh, well, I'm sure it's nothing. All right, let's go. We have our orders, everybody. Let's do it. Oh, well, you know what? You're right. Before I go in, though... Your bag seems full. Shh. Is this another training regimen of yours? Yes, Captain Obvious. My bag is always full. If my bag isn't full, it's probably because I'm depressed or something, okay? Start worrying, adoring fan, when my bag is not full, all right? Jeez, these companions always so worried. Do you not understand, adoring fan, that I love stuff? I love stuff! Sorry, I didn't mean to get upset with you, adoring fan. I love stuff, though. Hey, you want this coffee mug? No. I'm just joking. Dude, I did take a coffee mug back to the ship, though, one time. But it's because it was hilarious. It said, I put the I in team. I was like, what? That's a narcissistic cup right there. We gotta have it on our ship. <laughs> and I think I left it at the outpost though, sadly, but well, it's okay. Sometimes I sell stuff from the ship on accident. So I was like, I'll leave it there. All right. Oh yeah, I forgot. Sorry, I keep telling you I'm Where gonna give you going? new stuff. What are we doing? What's next for me and you? Well. Next for you is to hold some of, of my course. junk. I'm always happy to help. Actually, you know what? I made a terrible mistake, escapees. 
Oh, he has a Grendel now. Nice. Let's see. Does the Grendel take 7.7? .7? Yes, it does. All right. He's, he's all set up. He's good. Actually, hey, can I give me some of this back? I'll take this off your hands. And what else did he pick up? Oh, he has his own regular Hustler outfit. Yep. That was the outfit he was wearing before I gave him the green one. I like the green one on him, though. He looks good. Let me know if you want to talk some more. Yes, yes. I actually have to go back outside. I'm just going to dump off all the stuff that I picked up onto my ship. Because it's, like, literally right there, so... Yeah, only 133 meters away. We are still able to access our cargo. Ah, uh, yes, X button. I hope we're not almost full on the ship. I'd be real upset if that's the case. Alright, and let's just drop... Honestly, anything else that we don't really need right now. This must be a slightly lower level area, I'm guessing. Because some of the stuff that I picked up isn't the greatest, sadly. It has some pretty low stats. Nice. Alright, that's all my stuff right there. Yes, if you missed it, I did rename my weapons. I did go through them already, so I probably won't do that again. But uh, yeah, Stormtrooper's Delight. <laughs> probably won't go through them again. Proceeds to go through them again. Shotgun, bust your door down. Fiscal Quarter, that was already named. Heller's Mom's Cutter now. <laughs> Her first purse pistol. Low key, high key, my sniper rifle. Mommy's Tremolo Bar. Uh, that I just picked up. In fact, put that in the ship there. We couldn't rename the combat knife because I was not able to modify it or do anything with it. Couldn't even access it on the weapon workbench. So I have no idea how to modify melee weapons or if you even can. I don't know. Uh, rechargeable batteries for my laser rifle. I thought that was cool. And Stormtrooper's Delight. Pretty self-explanatory. It's like a Stormtrooper weapon in my opinion. Collecting a deck of cards and stock stacking them in your ship. Nice, Panda. Yeah, it's good to get a little decoration in the ship, in the outposts. Honestly, anywhere you can. I know, right? Trusting the adoring fan with a weapon. A mm, little bit, a uh, little bit sus, huh? He's not a. He might not be the best with a weapon behind us. Yeah, best duck and stay low. True. All right, here we go. Okay, I think I'm good, fan. Left a whole bunch of stuff in our ship. Somehow we just floated it back over there, apparently. <laughs> it's like magic. All right, we're looking for one Sergeant Mahoney, or Private Mahoney, apparently. He, uh... Whoa, ooh, lots of dead scientists. Mahoney has sent out a distress signal, and it's, you know, I've been ignoring it for months in the game, probably. <laughs> At least weeks by now. Couple of dead scientists. I hear some popping noise, but I don't know if that's like a battle going down somewhere in the distance or if that's just my headset kind of popping. Or maybe it's that machine right next to us or whatever this monitor is. I don't know. Maybe I should pick up the pace a little bit. Oh yeah, I don't hear anything anymore. <laughs> Everyone's dead. Another marine here. Well, I know why these marines died. They came in with freaking side stars. Like the crappiest type of little pistol you can get. And 
imagine going into battle with a side star. Oh, oh, somebody's in there. Watch out. Yeah, I see, look, look, you can see someone walking around. He doesn't show up as a foe, though. Before I head that direction, let me, uh, let me go up here first. Here we go. Oh, oh, yep, definitely an enemy up there, too, then. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Alright, going in. Out of the way. Oh, oh, I missed completely. Oh, not that time though. Good. Oh, oh, somebody's upset. See one of those red dots moving around all haywire. I think the other one's probably behind that door. All right, let me just make sure everything's all nice and reloaded. Good, good, good. And by everything, I mean everything. All right, we're good. Wow, a lot of death and destruction in this place. Well, time to loot again. I'll try to do it quickly. All right, I'll take that. Anything here, nothing too good. Quick scan, quick scan. If I miss anything, oh well. Ooh, some cheese. Oh, it was chunks pie, my bad. Damn it, I wanted cheese. I love cheese. Deep core space helmet. Structural material, I needed that last night. When I was uh, trying to build some stuff in my outpost, I went and ran out. Oh, thank you, Panda, the nice weapon names. Yay, I'm glad somebody liked them. I showed them earlier and nobody said anything in chat. I was like, oh man. Oh, well, that flopped. No. <laughs> I like Heller's mom's cutter. I thought that was funny. You know, immature humor and stuff. Not always a bad thing. Some of them like mommy's tremolo bar. Tremolo bar's on the guitar. It's that whammy bar that when you go makes that vibrating noise. So I was thinking SMG, like a tremolo bar kind of. Oh, that weapon rack got cleaned out. Bitten sandwich, hell yeah. You know I want that. What better than to have somebody else's germs come with the sandwich you're about to eat? Oh, delicious. It's like a little extra surprise in every bite. You don't know how you're gonna feel in a couple hours after eating that. Will you get sick? Will you have a stomach ache? Never know. Not until a few hours after eating that sandwich. Draft of reinforcement request, what? Oh, draft. Uh, so, you know, hadn't been sent out yet. I do not believe you understand the tactical situation. We cannot wait one week. We cannot even wait one day. We need reinforcements now or it's... Probably too late. I'm guessing they didn't get their reinforcements, eh? by the uh, look of all the poor dead scientists on the ground. Ramen? There was ramen in the storage box. Excuse me, scientists. Those storage box should be filled with credits and ammo. Not food. Not useless items. All right, we're good, we can move on. All right, look lively back there. Only a security guard can unlock it. Security card. 
Where did I miss that? Oh gosh. See, that's why sometimes it's not such a good idea to go in with like a grenade or something that blasts all these items off the tables and stuff, because there might have been a security card laying around at one point, but with all the bloodshed and violence, it's probably on the floor somewhere. Or knowing Bethesda, it probably fell through the floor. Love you, Bethesda. Yeah, if I want to get through there, I'm going to need some type of security card, which I don't have. So I say... Let's continue on. We can either go... So my objective is down there, but there was some more nonsense up top. I say we go up top real quick. Well, you know, just clear it out a little bit. Must be too tired. Yes, you must be too tired, whoever said that. We're gonna give this guy the surprise of his life. Oh, and I can't, though. Okay, maybe the guy I need to talk to has the key, huh? Yeah, I can't see. Alright, ugh, come on. We have to do this the right way, adoring fan. Let's go. All right, we go. Oh, because oh, I stomped around like an elephant. Now the enemies know that we're hanging out. Okay, okay. They're gone, they're gone. I saw two little red dots on the compass for a second. But dang it. All right, here we go. Quietly now, fan, quietly. We're looking for somebody named Private Mahoney. Mahoney? Wait a minute. Oh yeah, yeah, I almost missed this. Oh. You carry the weight of the Wouldn't have been much. I stand here in awe. Help me with it. Something from me. Your number one fan. Yes. Of course, oh Lots kind of stuff and for benevolent you. hero. I will accept all that you have. Oh, I could get used to that. Such respect. He's not treating us like a nuisance for giving him stuff. Like some of our other constellation friends. Mm. Sometimes they act like they can't be bothered to help us carry anything. In fact, sometimes they go as far as to criticize us picking things up. <gasps> ever have I ever been so offended in my life before? Ever. All right, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Oh, by the way, remember, just side note, anybody else that was watching the stream when I kind of first started, remember when I accidentally stole this exact same outfit and I thought I had bought it and stuff and it was like stolen for a long time I had that little red dot well I found the exact same outfit the other day unstolen uh, just out in a box and so I said you know what I'm gonna trade them out on the off chance I get arrested and some of my stolen stuff gets taken away so yeah now I have a legit poncho too I had one that I robbed and that one is one that I acquired legally Damn, I do have a lot of mines, though. I should probably start using some of them. Especially the... You know what? Equip the shrapnel grenades. Next time I remember, I'll try to use those a couple times at least. Alright, just storing stuff on my adoring fan here. He's pretty cool. He doesn't complain too much. Alright, there you go. Yeah, legal poncho, yes! Being part of your crew is just the best. Well, thank you, adoring fan. All right, save it and shave it right there. So it looks like our objective is right around the corner. Whoa, there. Uh, thank a God. woman. I figured if I talked myself hoarse on the comms, the cavalry would come. I was expecting some free star militia. Her distress call. Any port in a storm, I guess. Well... Hello, uh, I guess you'll have to make do with us, me and the other guy. <laughs> From what I've seen already, gladly. Before ah, Spacers she saw that outpost, we took down a couple spacers, eh? Torres. Torres ain't bad as far as COs go, but 
We'd have been flat out murdered if it weren't for the, and I can't believe I'm saying this, the UC Marines. Yes, yeah, so a lot of dead Marines this upstairs. This is important. You see a Marine, don't shoot. They're friendlies. Well, yeah, I'm not gonna shoot anyone that's not a red dot. Yep, Marines good, spacers bad. Mm -hmm. Roger. So first things first, the makeshift infirmary isn't gonna hold. They set up on the ground floor in the security section. The whole place is on lockdown, so you'll have to find a way there. Yeah, they have Talk the doors to, um, locked with the card. Uh, Lazama. He's the only thing between them and... Well, you get the picture. There's other people alive in here? She's the first one I've seen. Wow, well, uh, can you give me a little tactical breakdown before I, you know, start running away like a chicken with my head cut off? When Torres triggered the lockdown, <laughs> Not knowing I was where to go. Zama and the doctor and security, but the lockdown cut us off. Last I knew, Torres was fighting in the complex. Somewhere. They're the probably Marines were dead. Guarding the back entrance. No idea what's up with them. But also probably that intel's dead. Old. Sorry, that's all I got. <laughs> Everyone's dead. It's okay. Um, I mean, hey, sounds like I came in the nick of time. Here's hoping it's not just me still standing. Be safe. I think it is. <laughs> a dead soldier ain't no help to no one. I don't know. I haven't. You're the only person I've seen alive here, Miss Mahoney. And I have a feeling it might stay that way. All right, just scanning around. Did you pick up everything good around here? Looks like you did, huh? Wow, you must have some heavy I pockets am truly yourself. Grateful you came. But get to the infirmary. Quickly, please. How dare she? She looted everything in that little room. Rude. Extremely rude. The least she could have done was save us some items that she found in there, but no. Right, adoring fan? Imagine not leaving extra loot lying around. <gasps> oh, oh! She, I didn't know she didn't say they're right around the corner. God damn. Well, surprise, surprise, them, buddy. Nobody got time for that. There we go. That's why sometimes I have to reload all my weapons at once. I just switch them out. Oh, oh! Space are coming this way. Watch out, watch out, fan. Watch out, fan. Nice. Good hustle, fan. Good hustle. Excellent work. We'll just loot everything and then figure it out later. Another legendary knife! I'm telling you, I am cursed with finding these legendary melee weapons. I have yet to find a decent, or any at all, legendary assault rifle or legendary SMG. None whatsoever. It's all been knives or melees of some sort. I'm incredibly offended by that. <laughs> No, I swear though, every epic or legendary item that I get is usually a fucking knife. Excuse my language. It's an effing knife, escapees. Game hates me. Alright, easy does it now, fan. Now I got better shit to do than looking for you. Right, somebody's ahead. I don't don't see them on the map anymore. Oh, now I do. Oh! Where are they at, fan? Where are they at? Ugh. Are we both up for the punch? That's hilarious. Did his fork get stuck? Oh, his hand got stuck. Wow. GG, we must be pretty strong, Adorn fan. Push that. We shot that guy's hand into the machinery. Another one! Just like a DJ Khaled. Another one! Another one! And another one! And another one! And 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 another one! And another one! Another one! Another one! Ooh, now this is something I'd like to have. That's some good decoration right there. That's going in the the ship, everybody. Alright, I think this floor is cleared, adoring fan. Toilet paper? Up here? Uh, oh, okay, it's a box of toilet paper. 
was about to say, I don't know what these guys are doing with all that toilet paper. Robotics part. I hear some noise. Sounded kind of like a mumbling or so. All right, save it and shave it, just in case. Oh man, it scared the crap out of me. Oh, it's another Marine. Wow, maybe I should have came in here a little bit faster. Maybe some of these guys would have been alive. Yeah, because in my opinion, it looks like the UC Marines got wiped out. I did tell that girl I have a feeling that we're the only ones alive, so. I wasn't lying. I think we really are the only ones that survived this nonsense. And only me, because I'm, you know, late to the party. Oh, uh, let's see here. Alright, we've come through the right way. Oh, oh, spacer! Spacer up ahead. He's a little bit far, though. Did he blow himself up? In a way, he kind of did. Where'd you go, damn it? All right, she sounds a little bit closer. Let's uh, yeah, we can use the fiscal quarter. All right, here they come. There you are. Oh, I thought he was dead. My bad. fan survived. Alright, that wasn't too bad. I didn't even have to health pack once. You even came here without armor on. Good for you. Yeah, I'm more suited up than the adoring fan is. Look at that, he's brave. What a brave man. So brave. So brave, so pure. Hey, I need more hobbies. Fighting no, you don't. You have plenty of hobbies. Talking about you. Yep, That's there you three. go. Right there. Three of the most important hobbies, I would say, adoring fan. Breathing about us, thinking about us, and something else about us. What is this? A game piece? Oh, cool. This must be that uh, chessboard thing. A snow lord, a shadow queen, and what else do we have? That's it. Snow Lords and Shadow Queens. Ships of the Lime cereal. Oh man. Oh, there is a lot of cereal. There's milk around here. Bunch of different cereals. No more target practice. The LT shut down the firing range. Says the noise disturbed the scientists on their power walking breaks. Goofiest thing I ever saw. The scientists pumping their arms and walking circles around the building. <laughs> their face is all intense like they're in a battle. Doesn't Taurus know that target practice serves a purpose? It keeps our edge. Not sure what the hell their power walking does. It burns calories, what do you think? Imagine capping on power walking. No, I'm just joking. Power walking saved some of our lives, all right? You gotta walk before you learn how to run. My good old pops used to always say, before he sat down, started drinking a beer and smoking a cigarette, watching TV, till he passed out, did it all again the next day. Poor man, he never lived to see 59. Ooh. 
fancy ice bucket? Ooh, ho oh, oh, ho oh. I kind of want some of these uh, martini glasses. Yeah, hell yeah, let's get at least a martini. You know, sometimes the constellation likes to party and get down too, all right? Sometimes we like to party on the ship. We're not always serious. But we are always serious about taking all this stuff though. Right, Adoring Fan? Good. All right, yeah, that was the end of this area, right? Besides, maybe here. Might have had some stuff. Is that like a did you pick? What is this? Oh, no, medical injector. We don't need any of those. Tweezers. You got a unibrow, Adoring Fan? We need to pluck your unibrow. Now you're good. His eyebrows look like they just got shaped recently. Yo, what's up, Uncle Redneck? Welcome in. How are you doing? Happy Wednesday. We're doing a little side questing in Starfield, but that's right, if you're just coming in, this is indeed a side quest. We are doing Ground Pounder up there on the top left. Clear the spacers outside the infirmary and talk to some guy named Lazama. So we're currently clearing out the spacers. Yeah, it takes a while. Can't leave all this good stuff on the floor now. Damn, look at all these, oof. Scientists got wiped out, dude. I know. Bad for them, but good for our pocketbooks. Oh, just one more succulent. I'll take that and the uranium. Same thing here. Dude, it looked like this guy moved, but I'm pretty sure he didn't. He just looked like he moved. Which was a little creepy, to be honest. I think they are adoring fan. He said, I heard constellations starting to collect things. Ancient things. Do you think people are starting to notice? And I said, yes, yes I do. Because <laughs> if the adoring fan noticed, I'm pretty sure everybody else has noticed too. Yeah, he's kind of preoccupied with caring about our character too much. But when he actually cares about something else, I pay attention. <laughs> so yes, if he's heard of Constellation collecting older things or ancient things, then so is probably everyone else which we're trying to keep the main quest line. Well, according to the main quest line, um, Constellation doesn't really want it. You know, we're not out here trying to, uh, for example, with the powers that my character now has, we're trying to keep those under wraps, basically. We're not trying to broadcast ourselves to, you know, the whole star system. All right, so that area looked like a little cafeteria. Which is sad, I can help dude. You carry some of that. Imagine I've killing been people doing while they're on the Rude. In preparation for just such a moment. Rude, uncouth, and just outright evil. Slaying people while they're eating. Psh, those scientists, they're just trying to enjoy their meals. It's probably their only break, too. You get murdered on your only break. That's messed up. I bet they didn't even get paid that much. <laughs> I'm infuriated for them. Got the chocolate there. What's over here? Fancy ice bucket. Let it be. Well, you know what? The ship might need a fancy ice bucket. And if not, it's worth a few, you know, extra credits. Like 10 or something. All right, looks good, clear. We can save it and move on. Move, move, move to the next room. I think, yes, we're going through here indeed. I got everything else. Oh, not so fast.
haven't patted down these guys in the front area. Remember, we kind of ran through here. All right, and then we came through there, so that area should be good. Let me check out this spot real quick. Oh, I can't. See, I hear what sounds like more shooting or something. Yeah, I should probably get in there. Hurry up. Oh man! This is it. All oh, right, get in, get in, get in, get in. She's the one that cleared him out. Oh yeah, no, don't worry, I'm not gonna shoot. Corporal Izama. Well, not these you two. You Marines, medic. Ooh, ooh a for. redhead with green eyes. <laughs> oh, well, hello I'm... there. Oh, uh, and meet the esteemed doctor, Musa, right? Oh, he seems a little bit terrified right now. Damn, well, uh... Wow, are, are you guys okay? We've lost too many good soldiers and scientists to the spacers. I've uh, seen that. Everyone here stable and will recover. <laughs> you aren't kidding there. Assuming we can clear the outpost of spacers. Damn, I have a feeling me, this guy, and the other lady are probably going to be the only survivors. Whew, this doesn't look much like an infirmary. I'm a battlefield medic, so this uh, outpost, well, it's luxury accommodations. What the heck are you guys doing here anyway? Doctor. Doctor. Yes. I mean, yes. Astrobiology. We study non-Terran life forms in the settled systems. We uh, seek to understand the various flora and fauna and search for practical uses. Wow, well, uh, yeah, I don't think the spacers care much about your research. Sounds like a noble mission. What sorts of uses are we talking about here? I saw some chems over Additional, on that table. Industrial, or just understanding how life propagates. We all work right, purely on right. non-military applications. It's part of our charter. Well, I mean, sounds like a noble mission, but yeah, I don't think the spacers very much give a crap about that. <laughs> no, they've, they've been trying to take over the whole system for months. Listen, we can't waste time. This guy's smiling. The CEO, I Lieutenant thought he was Taurus, smiling. He locked down the complex. I'm not sure how long he can keep his troops safe. Last I saw Torres was on like the third floor. Like laughing about the whole story. This is not funny. Take this key and get Corporal. to Torres. It should open everything except the security doors. Get to Torres before his men are wiped out. Good luck. Oh man, <laughs> you seen how slow I've been clo uh, combing through this building? By the time I get there, sir, unfortunately, everyone's gonna be deceased. I'm just telling it like it is, all right? Everyone's gonna be dead, even these guys. <laughs> it's gonna take so dang long. Hey, I need this cot! Oh, okay. I was wondering if we could sleep there when somebody was already on it, but nope. Game got that covered already. All right, so he gave me, did he give me the card I needed or something? I was uh, so lost in his beautiful green eyes that I, you know, wasn't paying attention. I'm taking all their medical stuff that they need. Don't the spacers realize we're trying to help them? Ah, uh, you help guys don't everyone. need these med packs or that amp there. So many doctors here, but besides one fence, uh, okay. no one can even hold a scalpel right. <laughs> so many doctors, but no one can hold a scalpel, he says. That's hilarious. Okay, wait, what was I supposed to do? I really wasn't paying attention. Oh yeah, find and rescue Lieutenant Torres before the rest of the group's all shot up or something like that. All right, all right. But can I now open this door? Nope, he didn't give me the key card. All right. Well, good enough. Less, uh, you know, exploration and all that. Wait a minute. How am I supposed to get up there though? Or was I following the right area? No. Well, cause I have a feeling if I go backwards, I'm just gonna go back. Oh, the stairs, duh. Wah, 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 wah. There we go. All right, look lively, everybody, look lively. In fact, I'm gonna heal myself up just a bit, too. Good. Oh, yeah, yeah, we definitely have a few. Go, 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 go. One behind her, yup, yup. I think that's one, that might be a dead guy. Couple shots per 
good measure. Oh, oh, crap, 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 crap. Whoa, 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 watch out, man, watch out. All right, all right. Seems to be a couple more in this direction somewhere. Oh, they're right there. Hunker down. Again. You have some What happened? You okay? If they can't shoot through the window, you're fine, fan. <laughs> you have some nerve! Don't they though? The nerve of these scumbag spacers. Yeah, you better go back to your little peeking spot. Alright, we're going in. Uh no, not that one. the other guy at? Okay, I guess he's already gone. Oh! oh. Yeah, there you are. Oh, 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 I was oh, just reloading. You caught me. You caught me. That was a good one. He got me while I was reloading. Good on him, that scrub. Alright, victory. To the victor go the spoils. Sam says that too, which is funny. And then he says, I hope I said that right. And every time I have to say, yes, you said it right, Sam. Hey, what's up, Livid? Welcome to the stream. Livid Lion. Nice. Ooh, what's a Class C mega ship? Is that one of the really, really good ones? Hell yeah. Congratulations on that. Yeah, they need to mop the floor with somebody. Or, oh, mop the floor. Somebody might slip. I was like, yeah, I'll get one of these bodies, start mopping the floor with it. Poor scientist. Rest in peace. Well, I did say it earlier, but for anybody new coming in, off stream last night, I ended up stealing another UC Econo Hall spaceship. And it's got like about 2,000 pounds of cargo, or it has a lot bigger cargo than any of my other ships. But it was hilarious, because it was just there, No, none of the UC folks were standing around. I went up to the hatch, it had an advanced level lock on it, and I lock picked it. I'm like, oh, I just want to see, you know, the captain and stuff. And nobody was on the ship. So I just got in the pilot seat and I took off. I was like, all right, well, yoink. I'm on now. Uh, the funny part though, and I do have it on a clip, is that I had thought I took off with like a crew member or something, still on that random ship, and because uh, I heard a voice when I was leaving the atmosphere, you know, that little cutscene as you're blasting off, some weird voice, it wasn't the adoring fan's voice, it was a deeper voice, uh, they said, I have something for you, and I was like, who the heck is that? But when I checked the ship again, we didn't have any crew on it. Besides me and adoring fan. Unless he like popped out his voice changer or something. Oh, let me see what's in here. Nothing. Alright, so far so good though. A couple more items to pick up. Damn it, I thought I had checked these bodies already. Oh, you know what? Apparently we're going up here. I had gone the wrong way. Dude, we're gonna have to leave so much stuff. Uh, I wanted to check out this back area first. Yeah, there's like a random lab back here. So the guy said that they were doing some research on different types of like medications and whatnot, so that's kind of interesting. Wonder what the spacers want here. Probably access to all these goods. I mean, there's a lot of crap you can sell in here. 
Besides, you know, all the guns and whatnot. Oh my god. I'm literally following in your footsteps right now. <laughs> oh, this is make so a good decoration. Cool. Alright, let's get out. I'm ready, adoring fan. I'm ready. Oh, actually, I'm not ready. New room. A new room has appeared. Just ripe for the searching. Something called junk flush. Real quick, what is junk flush? Maybe it flushes junk out of your system? I'm not sure, let's see. Junk flush. Yeah, it does! Purges the body of addictions. Cool. So if you know you get Oh, I didn't even know you could get addicted. Probably addicted to like Aurora or something. My character tried to drink a bunch of alcohol, but we didn't really uh Well actually, you know what? I didn't test it out that much. I only drank like two alcohols. But yeah, hmm. Kinda interesting though. Repairing immobilizer. What's making that noise? I don't know, something's making a little tingling noise. Or not really tingling, but like a tapping type noise. Alright, we're ready. Oh! It was a mistake. I peeked over with the damn flashlight. Oh, good thing we're in the... Yes, yes, this is a... Lovely... Window! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, here they go, the other side, the other side. Right there, right there, yes, yes, yes. Alright. Oh, oh, I was looking away! Adoring fan, did you hear that nonsense? He said no one would miss me. I know you would miss me. Right? That's bull crappery and lies. Spacer said no one would miss me. I know damn straight for a fact the adoring fan would. <laughs> I thought that person was already dead. That's why I stopped shooting them. That's hilarious. Alright, well this guy's alive. I see him in the uh, other side. Good, good, good. Looks like nobody else made it though. If you need any help, I can take a few items. Of course, I would also label you an imposter, since you need no assistance from anyone. Thank you, adoring fan. You're damn straight about that. I don't even know where you're at, Spacer. Psh. How can I leave when I haven't even seen you? Where's he at? Voice sounded like he was right around the corner or so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There they are. Chilling, huh? I feel like some of these enemies are kind of... I don't know. I am on normal difficulty. But some of these enemies are kind of derpy, like they'll just stand there and let you shoot them. And it takes them like a good five seconds for, before they finally, oh, oh yeah. And it's really easy to sneak up. I have no points in sneak skill. Super easy to sneak up behind some of these guys. I even do it on accident sometimes. I'm just going around a corner and oh, there's a spacer, but hey, he hasn't seen me yet. Shoot him up. I did read somewhere, but it was just somebody's opinion, so I don't know if it was true or not. Uh, but they said they think the sneak system is broken in this game. And to not put points into it, so I was like, well... And I, I kind of tend to, just from my own experience, I kind of tend to agree just a little bit. I don't really feel, unless I have companions with me, 
that like to, you know, walk right out in the open and stuff. Uh, I don't really have a problem with sneaking ever. It's only when my companions get caught and then, you know, stuff goes down. But if I tell my companions to wait, I'm sure I could sneak through quite a few different areas without even having, you know, the sneak skills. Dude, we've been picking up so much stuff. I wonder what the damage is. Okay, did I go in a nice fat circle? I think I did. Alright, we ready to talk to these peeps? Actually, one second. More stuff. Do you want to say thank you for hanging out again, escapees? I appreciate it. Hope everyone's doing well on this awesome hump day. Hope you're having a good one. Quick reminder, don't forget, it is September. So please consider subscribing to the channel to support your favorite streamer today. Woo! People in chat are like, what? Who's my favorite streamer? People in chat are like, my favorite streamer is not streaming today, soul. That's why I'm here. Just joking. Oh, oh, what's going on? Oh. Oh. A little uh, posthumous body twitching, huh? Little uh, rigor mortis that maybe hasn't set in just yet. Let's get out of here before that body turns into a zombie, starts walking around. All right, I'm coming in, don't shoot. Don't shoot, like everyone said, put your weapons down. I put mine down. The spaces. I, yep, it's us. I don't believe it. We've lost so many people. Hello. Are they all gone? Thanks to the stranger, every last one of them is down. Some fancy work there. How do they How know? They got like cameras or something they're watching. You got sniper support or something? Uh, no, just me and this guy. Yeah. <laughs> just me, all rude. What about our adoring fan? He's there too. You know, I uh, kind of gave the snipers the day off. <laughs> Sad day to pick it though, too. And uh, the artillery folks as well. Wait, you're serious? You did all of that? We have to help Captain yes, Young. Yes, the one and only. She's behind the barrier door. But she's not free. She's Star dead. Our Sorry, first she's probably dead. Is our men and our scientists. She came in to save us, Sergeant, when no one else would. I oh. will not leave her out to dry. Yeah, listen to the sergeant. You guys fought a war against each other recently. I'm surprised you want to help the Marines. I look forward to meeting this Captain Myong. The UC came here to help. Help what? We were hours from being overrun, and then Myong and her Marines landed. And they saved us. We were desperate, so we just welcomed them. <laughs> they were desperate. Together, oh, we've no. we managed to hold the outpost. Notice, PP Why, does the have the... Aid. Well, Same outfit as Sam Co. He's just missing the hat. He's part of the Free State. Free Star. Oh, he's Free Star, not Free State. Free Star Collective. All right. Well, I mean, you guys fought a war recently, though. I'm surprised you want to help the Marines out. I, I don't care. Her men have risked their lives, died for us. But Lieutenant, they're the UC. We can't. Sergeant, I am ordering you to help us save those Marines. How? We got a security override key. With if magic. the Marines are still alive, they'll be by the other entrance. We all work together. We should be able to save them. Oh no, or these try. goons coming along too? Yeah, oh. soldiers that need us. Y'all are just gonna hold you... me back. Up for it. We could really use your help. Well, of course. I could just go by myself, though. <laughs> I'm not a charity here. Some type of payment for services rendered might be appropriate. Yeah, I mean, you know what? I won't see good Marines die. Good. Here's the security key. You take point. The captain's down one floor. All right, I guess they're uh, gonna follow us. Cool. Got some tag-alongs now. Couple of Free Star Rangers. All right, let's see what they were doing in here. What were you guys doing before I came through, huh? 
the more you, weight uh, you carry, get closer the to each other. your shoulders become. My respect for you grows by the kilogram. Fan? <laughs> My respect grows by the kilogram. Okay, that's hilarious. I was just about to complain, but you know what? That was a great joke. I'm not complaining about him no more. X09 report. The microbial sample of X09 is truly extraordinary. We're not sure if this is the key to the impressive regenerative capabilities of X09. We plan to do some gene editing on the EF3 fern and then run it through a battery of tests. The whole thing is a long shot, but I imagine if humans could regrow limbs in months, even days? Dizzying possibilities. Ooh, yeah, regeneration. All right, so, oh, that sucks. These scientists were working on something good. Damn these retarded spacers. Well, they're ruining everything. These genius scientists were about to implement some cool regenerative, restorative chem or medicine that restores limbs and regenerates limbs and stuff. And these idiot spacers come through. Oh, look, lots of money. Um, right away, I'm extremely distracted. Let's pick this money up. Not as much as I thought, though. I was hoping they'd be in increments of a thousand, but that's okay. 343 credits. Psh. We're worth much more than that. But yeah, these scientists were working on something worthwhile, and those idiot spacers come through, and they just blow up the whole place. I bet, and they're probably just gonna do drugs in the dam. Uh, science labs and stuff. You know they're not going to start conducting exper experiments or anything like that. These idiot spacers. Ooh, fancy alcohol. Alright, I think this room is probably all the way looted. Should be good here. All right, if you're just coming in, we're on a side quest, escapees. Long story short, I'm trying to help some of the Freestar Collective agents. Uh, they were sent here on some sort of mission. It went haywire. And now they need our help. All right, where did the stairs go? I need the label. That's lab. We need to go one floor beneath us. Quite possibly this way, and maybe... Actually, I don't know. There were a couple doors that I wasn't able to get through, though. Well, let's see. We'll continue forward. Okay, this is the room we were all holed up in. No exit, no door here. Let's see, what about the autopsy room? What's this garage looking thing? Nope. Research. Nope, we were in here. Oh, here we go. Whenever I'm There's the stairs. I think, what would you do in my shoes? Not literally, but I've got small feet. I've got small feet too, adoring fan. We probably wear the same shoe size, to be honest. <laughs> hey, we could start trading up shoes too. We already trade outfits, don't we? Yeah, see, he's got the green outfit on today. I actually have a similar outfit, similar style, different colors. But uh, yeah, it's hilarious. We could trade out outfits occasionally. Oh, by the way, crouch down, everyone. What are you guys doing? Be like the adoring fan and crouch as well. Ugh. Are these people ready for a fight or not? go through there just yet. Oh, 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 a lot of enemies right there. Whole Tell bunch of... Whoa, 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 did they go through? Oh, shoot. Okay, okay, all right. Go, 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 go. All right, don't kill the Marines. The Marines are right there. Kill these guys. All right, switching out, switching out. We're still alive. 
Yeah, I'm going front line because I don't want the Marines to die. You know they're going to die if I let them stay in front. Shoddy. Come on, there's one guy. If he starts... Oh, God. If this one guy kills everyone, I'm going to be so pissed. All right, we should be good. We should be good. Clear, 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 clear. Clear, clear, clear. Okay, I think we're good. No enemies. And who the hell do we have here? Another scientist? No. Scientist? Truthfully, we would still be pinned down if it weren't for them. Well, Where's the other guy? Get I'll over here. Be... What are you doing way back there? He's having dialogue from the back corner. There you are. There we go. That's more like it. Yeah, yeah, not a scientist. I'm just, you know, the hired help. Huh. You don't got the look of a marine. Certainly not the militia. Who are you? Random. <laughs> I'm Constellation here. Picked up your distress call on my way to look for booty. You know, on other planets. What, the explorers? I didn't know you guys packed such a punch. Captain yeah, Young, thanks. you see marines. Ugh, I've been working Veteran out. Veteran of the colony wars. Ugh. The shield of Paduke Pass. Best damn marine in the service. <laughs> and that loud Best mouth damn is Private marine. Psy. If she wasn't such a hell of a soldier, she'd be polishing latrines for the next decade. Oh. You've saved lives Damn. Here, and that is something I won't forget. That's a little rude. Captain and all her marines. Oh, we'd all be Shots dead if it weren't for them. back there. You lot may be free star, but your ground pounders first. I wasn't about to let you all die ignobly to those rabid spacer bastards. Yeah, fuzz those damn spacers. Uh, damned fine to meet you, Captain. I can't believe UC Command is all right with this. What happened at Parduk Pass? That's a random. That's why you're helping them? You guys were at war not too long ago. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to be involved. I'm not actually a part of any faction yet. So I'm not getting involved in their little tussle here. Damn fine to meet you, Captain. You've got spirit. Captain to That's Captain. That's what we need right now. We've bought ourselves an old-fashioned stay of execution here, but it won't last long. The bastards are disorganized, undisciplined rabble. But they got spaceships and we don't. That means they can keep dropping reinforcements you got until no they greatly spaceship. outnumber us. That's sad. Then the cowards will hit us. Hard. Well, I've got a ship. Which means they won't drop the reinforcements right on top of us anymore. Good. But there's too many of them, and only one of you. No, we need a plan. I want to go I up have against more immediate all of problem, them. Captain. I have troops and civilians in the field. If we don't act, the spacers could take them out. I can't abandon them. Damn it. What sort of leader would you be if you did? But we need every trained soldier <laughs> to fortify and get the defenses back online. Mahoney said their last transmission indicated they were in trouble. If you could perhaps Another transmission. take your ship to the research camp and... Oh. I have to fly somewhere else and finish battling? Oh my gosh. Yeah, in for a penny, in for a pound, I guess. Jeez. I, I know this is asking a lot. I just came in Lives here are on a whim. Stake. Just go quickly and safely. Because I heard a distress call. I wasn't expecting to save half of the fleet. Jabez H. All right, well, oh. Take my ship and go land on Altair 2. Oh, I hope there's some caps in it for me, folks. Lots of caps, by the way. All right, well, you heard him. Load up on everything, everyone. Get your pockets full. We're not coming back to this place in a while. Anyone have any extra inventory space I could borrow out there? Escapees, you know, I, I, I need it. I need it. I need that inventory space. I need to grab more items. All right, looks like those bodies are already picked clean, right? Yep. Only need are these has bodies to be safe. in here. Just go quickly, sir. I will take my time. Imagine asking for help and then telling the person, "Go quickly." 
go quickly. And you don't even promise them any money or that you're gonna pay them or anything. They're just doing, you know, stuff out of goodwill. I hope they're like, oh, hurry up. Right. We haven't heard from them in hours. Like, I know it's a serious situation, but I'm doing this for free, you know? I don't like to be rushed. I like to take my damn time. Now, there's plenty of ammo and stuff here that I gotta sift through. There's weapons. You know, some of these people, I'm taking their clothes off and whatnot. Oh, look, one of these weird, uh... Yeah, these science crates or science caches. One time I found a different legendary, um knife in there, the one that I still use, actually. But yeah, those, these funny octagon-type crates, they have some good stuff a lot of times. Well, we did pretty good, but I'll be honest, besides the quest givers and stuff, everybody did die, sadly. Yep, besides the quest givers, everybody croaked. All right, just a couple lockers to go through. Taking that spear toy, it's kind of cool. And it's free. Can't beat free. place had a little balcony that we could look over. Cool, cool. And a back entrance to boot, huh? I knew I should have come this way. At least to, you know, check it out and stuff. Oh, but the door was probably locked. That's right, huh? Even if we did find the door, it was probably locked. Oh, I already been through here. Okay. All right, let's get out of here, escapees. I just used the power that allows me to keep all my oxygen for a certain amount of time. So even though I'm over encumbered, I'm still able to run all the way to my ship. Oh, okay, that scared the crap out of me as the noise of my power dissipating. I was like, what was that? All right, just healed up. And real quick, I'm just gonna board. I don't wanna take off just yet. Yeah, oh man, this is a long quest. It'd be a lot shorter if I wasn't looting bodies and stuff. But uh yeah. Long quest, kinda Seeing interesting. Stars from space always gives me yeah, who the heck is this? Hey, what's going on? What are you doing here? Am I like on a side mission or something? Why do I have a worker on my ship? I had to transport some workers last night for a little side mission, but, uh, yeah, as far as I know, <laughs> I dropped him off, right? Who the hell are you? Look at this freeloader. They just stowed away on my ship. The stowaway. You make yourself useful Seeing around the here, then. Don't be drinking up all our coffee. All right, you know, pick this pan up. Look at this terrible pan on the ground. Oh, my gosh. The nerve of my companions not picking up their stuff. Here to shoot the Look breeze. at this place. It looks trashed. All right, whatever, she can stay. I don't have time to deal with that woman. <laughs> that stowaway. Hey, um, well, you know what? Let a Doring fan be for a second. I was about to grab all his stuff, but then if it doesn't fit in the ship, then it's gonna be stuck on me, so never mind. All right, got a ton of weapons here. Probably the best one is this one, I would say. Everything else we'll just get rid of for a little bit. Ooh. Another legendary shanking device. I already used one too down here. My shattering combat knife, oh man. 
Which one's better though, low key? 20 damage and 15. But it does do instigating, which would bump it up to 30 on the first hit of an enemy. Hmm. This is actually not too bad of a knife. I kind of like it. Oh, this is a great knife, puts it away. The reason I'm storing my weapons and stuff on my ship too is that when you do go and try to sell stuff, you can sell from your ship inventory. You can't sell from your companion's inventory though. Yeah, also the reason I thought that might be kind of a lower level area is because... How come I couldn't leave this one? Oh, I must have had like three of those. Um, because some of the items that I got here, <clears throat> they're pretty low stat-wise. No, oh, except a few of these, they're okay. Dude, I have so many helmets. I have a lot of crap that I picked up. That's okay, we're gonna make some money though. I didn't get 400,000 credits just sitting around. We've been doing work off stream escapees. I've been going to different planets, scanning stuff, shooting at different mining facilities with a bunch of spacers in it. Utility headphones, nice. Now that's kind of cool, a hat that comes with headphones attached. I kind of like that, put that on right now. Oh, I just stored it. Damn it. Want that hat back. All right, there we go. Okay, now back to leaving other things. Let's leave these cryo mines. I like grenades, but I'm not too fond of landmines. Oops. All right, miscellaneous. Uh, did I really pick up a bowl? I guess I did. Well, leave it all. Oh. I maxed out my ship. There we go. Sometimes I think you fill your pack to the brim on purpose. Oh, to you think adoring fan? A oh, his lips aren't moving. I saw it in a movie once. He's communicating with me Seeing telepathically. This space always gives me goosebumps. How do you talk with your mouth closed, adoring fan? You're gonna have to teach me that trick. <laughs> That's hilarious. A worker that I kidnapped? Oh no, we'll get her off. Hey, you're free to go, ma'am. It could be, right? I could have sworn when I stole this other ship. Not this ship, though. So yeah, that's weird. Why would she be on my original ship? I have no idea, but on the Econo Hall? Um, yeah, I could have sworn I heard another person's voice, but it was male, though. A dude's voice. Oh, nice, that's cool. Landmines are good when gravity is non-existent. Uh, you can throw them. Makes sense. All right, let's uh, take off. There we go. Yeah. save it real quick too. Are we level 30? Yeah, level 30. Nice. That's pretty cool. Um, all right, let's see here. Where am I going? Do, 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 do. We have to go to Altair. Oh, Altair 1. All right, let's uh, show it on the map. Oh, and surprise, surprise, there's also a scanner anomaly right there. Oh no, not the power. No, 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 not that. 
Oh, this, the research camp. Yes, yes, yes. Here we are. I was like, of course it's taking us to the same planet as the artifact thing. But nope, I was wrong. No, we literally just have to move from one area to the other. But you know what? Before I do that, though... Uh, let me see. I'm gonna take just a quick break here. Gotta use the restroom real quick. I will see you soon. Uh, 213 Ghost said, any good guns you know where to get? I'm getting bored of my guns. I don't got ammo for them because no one sells the ammo. Uh, I don't know. I honestly just use the weapons that I've been picking up. And you can rename them though if you have a weapon workbench. You can do the renaming thing. But I just have one of these weird shotgun things, uh, an assault rifle, an Eon pistol, another assault rifle, but this one's a sniper version of it, an SMG, the uh, laser rifle thing, a legendary knife, and one of the stormtrooper guns. <laughs> legendary, or not legendary, a uh, laser pistol. But yeah, I don't know. I just use whatever is the best thing that I pick up. Same thing for my armor too. I'm just, I haven't bought any weapons or any armor. I'm just using what I find on the floor, but yep. Yeah, you mean the asteroids and stuff? Yeah, I do know we can shoot the asteroids with these lasers. If you're talking about like on the world, I can shoot different rocks with my laser gun. Uh, no, I had no idea. But if you're talking about the mining, then yes, I do know we can mine for ore and all that stuff with the laser. Anyways, I'll be right back, you guys. Quick restroom break. If you're enjoying the stream, please consider hitting the follow button. It is September. If you got an extra five bucks hanging around, please uh, consider subscribing to the channel. Would be amazing, would help me out a lot, Escapee, especially during September. All right, I will see you soon. Go ahead and take some soul gems. We'll be back to finish this side quest in a few minutes here.
All right, sorry about the wait, escapees. We are back now. And you know what? I'm just gonna slap on some makeup here. Though I don't look so shiny. Sitting in front of two selfie lights for multiple hours at a time. <laughs> Starts to do that. All right, well, welcome to the stream, you guys. How's everyone doing? I'm gonna get some content Little, little content booster in my system here. But thank you again, you guys, for lurking. I do appreciate it. I know we haven't had, you know, the most exciting conversations today, but hey, I have faith. Hopefully next stream or so, things will uh, pick up a little bit. But thank you for being here, those that have been here today. I do appreciate it. All right, let's see here. But I have a feeling I'm going to be talking to myself for quite a bit, so I'm going to get a little content helper in my system here. You know how it is, any fellow streamers out there, it's like, uh-oh. Some of us use alcohol. The big stream- okay, you want to know what it's, what's a surprise to me, escapees? So I've been watching a lot of Kick and stuff, right? Kick.com. And I've actually been checking out some of their live streamers, their IRL live streamers. And man, the other day, uh, for example, if you guys know Action Man or some of those, like, I don't know how I'd describe them. They're kind of like super hyper live streamers that always have like a bunch of girls at their mansions and, you know, they're like partying 24 seven and their streams are always all crazy and stuff. Well, the other day I was watching Kick and I was listening to, I was watching a live stream of, uh, I think it was Aiden Ross, one of those guys, and they were having an argument with Action Man and uh, one of those other rich guys too. And long story short, dude, they started just like ragging on each other and they were like letting secrets go, things that I actually didn't believe uh, until I, you know, hear it from the mouths of the people themselves. Uh, going back a long, long time ago, there used to be a lot of accusations back in the day with Twitch streamer, former, now exiled Twitch streamer, Ice Poseidon. People used to say all the time that he was doing cocaine on his streams, and I never believed it because I'm like, oh, you know, I've always been an innocent kid too. I only smoke weed, um, I barely drink, and I don't do any other type of drugs or anything. So, you know, I never believed it. I'm like, ah, he's not on coke or anything. Well, some of that stuff is starting to like reemerge people back in the day back in IRL streams they used to sweep that under the rug real quick you know oh, no nobody does coke no, no 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 well during that argument that I heard with Aiden Ross action man and some other guys some dude named prime or something too uh, they were all saying like oh you're 35 year old coke head this and that the dude the other guy that they were accusing he wasn't even denying it he was just yelling on top of his like no 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 I'm not and it makes sense though, I'm like, dude, those guys really were on cocaine and that's why they always act all hyper and wild and kind of crazy and stuff. I honestly thought that was just their personalities because when I'm on stream, I have to like act hyper and kind of like motivate myself to really be active and all this and that. And I burn out after streams over, like I'm exhausted escapees. I'm naturally an introvert and uh, I don't talk that much unless it's like a cashier, you know, most of the times that I talk during my IRL life, it's either to my mom, my brother, or like a cashier when I go to the store here and there. And so I thought those guys were just naturally hyper, naturally crazy. And after they turned off their streams, they're like, oh, you know, all exhausted and stuff. But no, they had a little happy helper named Cocaine. And now that I'm older and stuff, I finally believe it. I'm like, you know what? These guys aren't even denying it anymore. Back in Ice Poseidon's Twitch streaming days, it was always like, no, 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 no. And nowadays, Ice Poseidon is very open, because he's still streaming over on Kick, very open about the fact that he takes Adderall and something called uh, Modafinil, which Moises used to call Daffodil, Modafinil, or something like that. Uh, but yeah, apparently those are like, uh, the opposite of medicine that puts you to sleep. They're like 
the ones that make you all hyper and stuff. And I'm like, oh my god, that's crazy. Here I thought people were just being naturally hyperactive or, you know, maybe they had ADD or something. I Poseidon used to always say he had autism and all that, so I blamed it on that, you know? But that's what you get for being an innocent kid. Then you grow up and you're like, oh, everybody really was on drugs. Huh. <laughs> now anyways, stay away from drugs, kids. I'm about to get high myself. Cheers. But yeah, we all need a little content juice is what I was trying to get from that conversation. one of those like super innocent straight A student never smoked like a not even a little hit of weed in high school or anything uh, but then going to college and stuff finally you know getting to be out on my own for a little bit did a little experimenting and whatnot <laughs> my first time blacking out ever was in college now that was scary but I learned my lesson though I did learn my lesson I was like well that's not gonna happen ever again <laughs> And uh, it didn't while in college. Uh, I blocked out a few times as an adult, though, so, you know, out of college and whatnot. Right, and begins, don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> yeah, just that sweet, sweet yayo. But yeah, I mean, I guess what I'm saying with all that combined together is that a lot of streamers, myself included, you know, we gotta use a little bit of some type of substance because it's hard. It is hard talking to yourself. I, I forget about stuff that I just start repeating myself over and over and over. I'm like, hey, so uh, how about that Xbox leak, everyone? Fallout 3 Oblivion Remastered? Just like, you know, hoping someone would like jump into the conversation or whatever. If they do, great. Then we can have some back and forth. If not, then I'm like, oh, okay, I gotta, um, I'll, I'll save that combo for later. Mm, I don't know, let's talk about something else, you know? Good stuff. Yeah, uh, always be able to get home, true. I've never blacked out like completely by myself. Not outside of college, in college I did. Um, but no, after that there's always like family or somebody around. Cause I'm not really invited to too many parties, so. <laughs> the only parties I go to are like family ones. All right, continuing our side quest here. We just hopped out a different location on the same planet. There were some uh, Freestar members that apparently got ambushed or something happened. All the scientists got killed. The Marines had to go in and try to help out. They got wiped out too. So now they're like, oh, let's ask this random ass person in Constellation. Funny question. Did I? Oh, I should have straight up exited. Are my cargo ship things? I'm. They are upside down. Uh, did I make them upside Anything down though? You? Let me see. Who's leaving the fridge open? I told you to close this all the time. That's why, Heller. Heller. That is why our food goes bad because you keep leaving the fridge open. And you too, random Being crew member. Space always gives me I have no idea who that person is. Didn't hire them. <laughs> Don't know why they're on my ship. Sometimes I this do do the... This seems full of life. We should name it after you. Also, every other location in the galaxy. Thank you. Um, I completely forgot what I was going to say because he started talking. <laughs> something, something, something. Probably not important. Oh, and here we are, some spacers. Actually, I don't know who that is landing. Our objective's over here, though. We got stuff to do. Oh, man. Uh, uh, fan. The local population's up here ahead of us. 
I guess, oh man, I feel slightly guilty sometimes just wiping out the random alien species on different planets. Okay, they're leaving, thank goodness. Uh oh. It appears my suit protection has run out. Leave us alone, spider, and we'll leave you alone too. Alright. Mutual respect, I like it. Yeah, leave us alone, creatures! And we won't have problems. Good, good. Alright, I'm gonna use my unlimited oxygen for a little bit. Let's gun it. Let's go! I hope I'm in the right area, by the way. Oh yeah, we're definitely in the right area! There's multiple spacers. It looks like, mm, at least for the first part, we don't have to actually go inside anywhere. Since, you know, everyone's milling about outside. Alright, we're getting closer. Fan. Let's try to shoot as many of them as we can. Long range. So let's not go in too willy-nilly here. Oh, real quick, you guys. In the chat, Nightbot with the links to social media. Feel free to check those out if you want. If not, that's okay too. All right, here we go. Yeah! Adoring fan, what did I tell you? Did he not learn from getting stabbed in the back of the neck earlier? I can't take you anywhere, adoring fan. He's just like Lydia from Skyrim, just like Piper from Fallout 4. They can't help but get themselves shot by me. <laughs> they love bringing out the friendly fire in me. Damn it. Alright, we're going in. I'm a little too far. Go, go, go! Move, move, move! Oh, oh, I forgot to reload! No, oh, my mistake. Terrible mistake. Nearly cost me my life. Yes! Alright, looks good. I'm gonna wait till that reloads and I'm gonna flip out to my next weapon. Don't worry, it's going, it's just slow motion. Alright, there we go. Next, reload it. Alright, other guy is coming up ahead right here. Oh. Surprise, mother trucker! Yeah, how you like that? That was my whole clip. They vanished. Remarkable. Oh, that was the last guy? Oh, okay. I thought there was one more right there. Oh, there is! There is! He just ran away, that scum. Get back here! Oh. Uh, not on my watch! No escapees! Except for the ones in chat! Hey! Alright, here we go. See, I'm telling you, that weed is content juice right there. Alright, let's see, let's see. Oh no, don't tell me! the people we're looking for are hiding in here. Dude, I have a feeling they're probably dead. They're probably gonna be just as dead as these damn spacers. Oh, I didn't know we were on ad break, my bad. Sorry guys, I didn't know we were on ad break. Maybe I should have waited a little bit. Well, if you missed it, everyone's dead. Except for us. Right, Adoring Fan? The Adoring Fan, once again, he didn't learn his lesson earlier today after I accidentally shanked him when he ran in front of me. Well, he ran in front of me again, and I shot him in the butt. So you know what? Let's put those two clips together. And when I have time, Maybe I should just make a montage. Dude, if I friendly fire any of my companions escapees and y'all happen to be around, feel free to clip a friendly fire. I should make a montage of all the times I friendly fire my companions. <laughs> Remember when I was playing, um, it was either Oblivion, it, honestly it's any of the Bethesda RPGs. Same thing for this one. I used to always say that when I take a companion with me, they sign a waiver. The waiver says, at some point, at some time, during our, you know, partnership, me hanging out with the companion, there will be a time where I friendly fire them. So they all consent to it. I'm just saying. 
It is written down. So maybe a Doring fan, you know, he's kind of like, oh well, I did consent to getting shot a couple times. Well, I suppose I could walk in front of her right now. Get shot in the butt. That was hilarious. That happened like over here. In fact, I think that's probably, yeah, that's probably his blood right there. <laughs> I was looking through this crevice right here trying to shoot an adoring fan and walks right in front of me and I'm like, oh, damn it, fan. All right, I think that was everyone. That wasn't too bad. I'm just, I'm glad that we don't have to go through an entire facility to try to get the rest of these spacers here. All right, that good? I did collect this stuff, didn't I? All right, just making sure. Hoarders got a hoard. All right, let's go. Don't shoot. They're coming in. Hands in the air, hands in the air. Oh, never mind. All right, with same same directions. Don't shoot. I'm coming in. Got my aim ready just in case. All right, we've got non-hostiles back here. Ah, uh, hello. There were How are you doing? Too damn many of them. You saved us. All right, are you the civilians I'm looking coming, for? But I didn't know if we could hold out. Not all of us made it. Yeah, and anybody out there? Hero. To see Dead as a doornail. Yeah, you should thank your tenant. Or, your tenant. Thank your lieutenant. He made sure you weren't left to die. I get that a lot. What happened here? Well, obviously, they got raided by spacers, too. Oh my gosh, what an airhead question that would be. What happened here? It's like, bro, you just got... <laughs> your quest was to come and help these people. How could you not know? All right, uh, yeah, thank your lieutenant. He made sure you weren't left to croak. Torres did that. Yep. He's so damn green. But all right. Green? Mahoney said for us to go to ground. Wonder that There's means. a cave nearby. We're going to Soft hold up or something? until this is all over. Don't worry. I'll keep the civvies safe from here. The civvies? I only see one civilian. Unless there's some on the bed I don't see. Space if that's not you, Earth. fan, I'm going to scream. No, of course it's the fan. Look at you, over encumbered, but pressing on valiantly. Oh, so valiantly. All right, let's see here. I'm taking from these people, <laughs> even though they probably need this stuff more than I do. Hey, suppose no one spoke any word about giving us payment for this particular mission. Just saying. That did come up earlier, too. Uh, one of the options was to say, in for a penny, in for a pound, I assume. Which means, man, when we started this quest, it was something small. Now we had all sorts of drama we had to go through. <clears throat> oh, Tell was that Taurus, a... Thank you. Thank you. They cleared their throat. I'm like, oh, oh did I just get caught stealing or what's we'll going on? We'll be safe now. None Get of these items the were red. If they were red, I wouldn't have touched them. Alright, I think we're good. This. Why? Why would the spacer? Oh, you're fine, you're fine. That poor guy. Lamenting. Alright, let's get out of here. Another job well done for Constellation. And you too, adoring fan, thank you for helping out. You know, couldn't have done it without him and whatnot. So on and so forth. Couldn't have done it without him in his pockets. I'll let my oxygen get down to depleted. Then hopefully I'll have enough power to use my power. There we go. Oh, I can't use my power while I'm running. Wait a minute. I can't use my power at all. There we go. 
Maybe there's a cooldown on it too. Yeah, I was pressing the buttons repeatedly. Huh, that's weird. Alright, let's see here. What is the next thing that I have to do? Just curious. Oh, go back to Lieutenant Torres. Where the heck did Torres go? Hopefully he's somewhere nearby. I have to fly like to another planet? Oh man. And we better get a reward too. Don't forget you guys, we are due a reward for this nonsense. Alright, straight to the cockpit. We'll have a little lift off. Oh, let's see. Let's take off here. Alright, hope everyone had their seatbelts on. Not too bad. Oh yes, I was saying earlier. Oh, that's what I was forgetting. Um, I think... Look, if you notice my cargo hold right there, it's those two weird boxy things on the side of my ship. They're upside down! Yup. Star Freight Logistics, it says, but it's upside down. My bad. I don't know if I did that myself accidentally or if the ship came that way, but oops. Oops, my bad. I have tinkered with uh, building my ship and kind of fixing it, but I always go back to the regular shape because it always looks better than whatever I try to do. <laughs> I'm not a very good ship builder just yet. All right, so we gotta go back to Torres. Let me see, probably the same world, huh? Oops. Where's the planet? Where did the planet go? Oh, there it is. Couldn't find it for a second. All right, perfect. And let's land it. Let's go. That's a cool little spaceship thing. That's probably a satellite or something though. Nice, basic design. Yeah, I've seen some crazy ships. Somebody made like a, uh, I think it was supposed to be like a sandwich or something, ham and cheese sandwich type ship. And it does look like a big old bread. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I just put my controller down. Thank goodness nobody was right in front of us. <laughs> Whoops! Friendly fire over there. All right, let's go wrap things up with Lieutenant Torres. Man, this mission took two and a half hours. We started at the beginning of the stream. At least a good two hours, I would say. Mahoney said the research camp is all clear. I, I don't know where we'd be without you. Most Honestly, probably better off, some sir. Unmarked grave. Oh, good on you both for making oh, that mission blunt. of mercy a priority. Our job is to protect the civvies and never leave a soldier behind. Well, that's, you know, pretty noble there. Uh, when I found you, you were kind of hiding out, though. <laughs> Sometimes you have to cut your losses. That's cold. Your injured can be used against you. Whew. No, 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 no. We, we try to save everyone on this ship. That's a noble there ain't goal much room there. for honor in this damn business, so we have to hold on to what we can. Captain, you should bring up your plan. I Oh, we're not I done yet? It's a good oh one. my gosh. The spacers haven't attacked yet, but they've been shuttling men down beyond the ridge. We cannot let them keep reinforcing, otherwise they'll overwhelm us. So we need to take out their ships. <laughs> you people are really keeping me busy. <laughs> the only rest a marine gets is in the grave. I'm not a marine, I can though. With the captain. I'm a civilian too. We can't too. hold out if we Jesus. don't cut off the manpower. The spacers have two fighter groups. If you take those out, the enemies will be stranded. So launch that fancy ship of yours and get to work. Oh, they want me to do a space battle? All right, I can do that. Now that would be at least with the change. People. Whew, okay, I can do a space battle. I thought you guys wanted me to shoot more enemies on foot. I was like, God, I've been doing that all mission here. All right, in before this mission actually takes three hours. No, 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 actually, I do enjoy the uh, in-orbit battles, or whatever you call it. Uh, okay, let's take off. And 
hopefully we oh, looks like we're pretty ready. Point wise. All right. Okay, okay. Maybe the cargo things are supposed to be like that because that was right side up when it took off. Maybe one side of the cargo freight thing. Yeah, no, they flipped. Look, you guys, I swear I'm not going crazy. The two boxes on the side of my ship were upside down where Star Flight or Star Freight Logistics was upside down. Now it's right side up again. Oh man, that's crazy. If you don't believe me, rewind the VOD, I swear, dude. I saw it. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and let me add a little stream marker there. That might be important later. Yeah, because I'm like, I didn't install those cargo boxes backwards. Or upside down. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to a different star system now for this battle, or what's going on here? Ah, yes. Defeat spacers on Altair 5. And Altair 1. I thought we were in Altair 1 already. Alright, well, here we go. We're going to Altair 1. Let's see. There's those following asteroids right there. Anybody else have asteroids following them in the game? I do, since yesterday. Alright, here we go! Yeah! It's on! Let's do it! Alright, took out his main shield. Alright, here we go. That's it. There's one. Wait for my missiles to come back. No. Oh, he's fast. The fast guy. My missiles are slack lacking. There they are. All right, there's two. Oh, 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 you're fast too, my friend. There they are, right there. All right, launch two missiles, gotta wait for the rest of them. There's another missile right there. Yes, excellent. GG. Oh, oh, oh god, oh. I did not know that could happen. Usually I bump into stuff and it just, you know, moves out of my way. Oh crap, I'm out of control. <laughs> all right, all right, we're good, we're good. Victory! That was our first flight battle. And I say, not bad. Yeah! All right, where's the rest of the goods though? Got some goods right here. Dude, did you see that spaceship part? It pushed me out of the way. That's crazy. Oh, that's right. My cargo was full. I completely forgot about that. All right, so I pretty much can't pick anything up. Well, unless it's credits. Let's go see if they got any credits for us. All right. Oh, yeah, they have credits. There we go. You know what? I'm gonna use one of my... Yeah, I used one of my repairs. Or my ship parts. And I'll just pick this one up to, you know, replace it. There we go. Alright, good job! Next thing's next. We need to finish another space battle. And that's gonna be over on Altair 5. Which sadly is behind this world, so <clears throat> I can't just fast travel to it. I have to open up the map real quick. Go out one and go this way. All right, here we go. I should have probably saved it, but well, I think we'll be fine. Oh, I can't save. I was trying. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Fuzzy? How are you doing? Yeah, my seven kids. They need help. Alright, here we go! You said fire everything you got, so hey, you got it. Alright, save one missile at least.
kept shooting at that thing. That's hilarious. Yeah. High five. You need help over there. Hey, where's the congratulations on doing well? Man, no good deed goes unpunished, my friends. Sometimes we barely get a thank you for helping out some of these NPCs. Rude. Oh, I can't pick any of that stuff up, sadly. But you know what? I'm gonna take my sweet time, though. Sounded like an emergency. Let me go ahead and, you know, continue looting for 30 minutes. We'll, we'll, we'll get to them eventually. any credits. There we go. That's what I want. And... Last one over here. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, that's right. I can't pick anything. Okay. Excellent. No credits there, damn it. No extra money. Well, I hope you have a good doctor's appointment, Fuzzy. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, congratulations. Woo! I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Not too bad. I've been working on this side mission for far too long though, I'll be honest. I thought this was gonna be, oh, just clear out this enemy base and we'll be done. But no, I've had to clear out several bases by now. All right, and there's gonna be more fighting as soon as I land how it goes though. Yeah, how about you Fuzzy? How are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. Thank you for coming in. Thank you Escapees for being here. Chat's been pretty quiet today so. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. Okay, those are the enemies, correct? I don't want to start shooting. Yes, yes, they definitely are. I don't want to start shooting, you know, people that we're supposed to be helping out. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. All right, I'm going up, it's a little foggy. Can't see a damn thing back here. All right, okay, the other guy died. Good, good, good. Let's see, let's go back to long range, at least a little bit here. Yes, very good. I think they got like a sniper guy up there. All right, he might have been behind something because none of those shots hit. All right, where's the guy on the side? Oh, there he is. Oh, my eye, he said. Sorry about your eye. <clears throat> Hope you're okay later. Okay. Go, go, go. This is kind of like my weakest weapon, sadly. I know, I really like this weapon, but it's crazy weak. Oh, forgot to reload that one. Oxygen because I'm a little bit over encumbered. Oh, which is never a good thing. There we are. Alright, let me calm down over here for a bit. Hold the line, y'all. I have to reload everything. Is that another shift coming in or what's going on? Oh god, reinforcements. Alright, let's go. We gotta take out those three that are up ahead. Come on, come on. There's gonna be more pretty soon. Oh, I have no boost pack, so I'm screwed. All right, there we go, there we go. Oh, oh okay, no, that's my friend. I almost shot her. All right, very nice. Now, where's the other ship coming through from? Oh, over here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, let's move forward. I'm fighting over encumbered, by the way, just in case <gasps> anyone's like, "What's going on with your oxygen?" Your I hope you do, adoring fan. It's Valkyries come to take us to uh, Valhalla. I almost said Salvagard. I can't see a damn thing. Who put this tree in the way? You're right, I almost. 
almost forgot about grenades myself. Alright, we're gonna flank a little bit. Dude, I can't believe none of those shots hit him. Oh, 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 oh! guy out. Alright, we got that guy. Uh, oh yeah, this guy. He's still giving us some trouble with the heroes. There we go. Whew, that took a while. Hey, level 31. Not bad, not bad. Yes, yes. Dude, I'm shooting that guy like practically point blank. Almost, oh, okay. He was right in front of the tree branch. That's why. That's an OP tree. All right, I'm going to go throw a grenade right in these folks' party right here. Throw in several grenades. Come on, throw another one. There we go. Oh, well, good enough. Man, those grenades suck. Oh, come on, come on. Dude, it takes a while to open up these grenades. Oh god, I forgot. Gotta reload. I was just kind of going for it. <laughs> Alright, where's that other body at? I'm already horribly over encumbered. Why not make it worse? But we're going to make so many caps once we uh, finally are able to get out of here and go sell stuff. Cowboy, long time no see. Welcome in. Yeah, it did rain a little bit. I was actually kind of happy that it was raining. I hadn't seen rain in a while. So I'm like, oh, that also means I don't have to go outside to work out today. Yay. Woo. All right, hobbling back. Oh, it's that spider from earlier. We don't care about that darn spider. What I do care about are these deceased corpses that have a ton of weapons and ammo on them. There we go. That's the good stuff. But yeah, we're just doing a side mission to escape these. It's called Ground Pounders. Uh, it's up on the top left. Long story short, this was kind of a weird little side quest. Just out of nowhere, um, we received a transmission. And it was just an emergency transmission. It was some Free Star Rangers that needed help. So we come down to this place. Lo and behold, we see a bunch of United Colony, United Colonies Marines as well. 
And so in the story, apparently, the Marines and the Freestar Rangers had a little bit of a war a couple years back and stuff. Well, like a good 20 years or something. I think Sam talked about it. And so long story short, you know, they're not very friendly with each other. So it was kind of confusing at, a, at the moment. But what we did know is that the common enemy was the damn spacers that were around here. So we had to clear out all the spacers, the Marines and the Freestar agents, it turned out, were working together and all that. So, you know, it's not all animosity, I guess. All right, let's save it. But yeah, it was just a long ass mission basically wiping out spacers. We found out a lot of the Marines and the Free Star Rangers were dead. So we're a lot of scientists. Um, basically only these four up here kind of made it. These four plus a few other stragglers, few other scientists. That's about it though. <laughs> These damn spaces. Too many of them. Now well, that was crazy. So many people. That's Lots the of price lives of lost. For is. Every decision leads to blood. You can drive yourself crazy with counterfactuals. Focus on the good you did. We did here. Well, everyone here is alive because of all of our good cooperation and we just gotta all hold hands and start singing. Let's all sing everyone. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. Huh. Well, just don't go saying that too loudly. Yeah, these two are not supposed to be friends. Both of you. I almost want to write back to the Freestar and ask them to give you a medal. Now wouldn't that be the damnedest thing? I could put it on right next to my meritorious star. <laughs> You'd save me a court-martial if you just give me your thanks. Might be you want your medal, though. I want a medal? Hell yeah. Ooh, recognition or credits. No, I'll take... I have a lot of credits, dude. I'll take a... I'll take a medal, hell yeah. It's certainly earned. I'm... I'm not sure if I would have Bragging done all this rights if the rules are reversed. Bragging rights every no. time. But I no, will never joking. forget you. You're Ooh, young, why don't you guys go get married? A bit of advice. I've been passed up for promotion more times than I can count because I've always stuck by my principles. There's a million ways the bastards in command will ask you to compromise. Little ways. Big ways. Don't. It may hurt your career, Stay but true I look to yourself. back with pride at my service, especially today. Yep, and pride and honor is all that counts, isn't it? This lady's clearly a narcissist. I'm oh, just joking. Oh, I didn't peg you out for a philosopher, Captain. No one except us really understands what victory costs. Certainly not command. I'd listen to that advice. I'll be honest, I mean, there was a lot of deceased people in this uh, particular little side mission. So yeah, no one except the people on the battlefield really know what this victory costs. Certainly not the command people sitting up there in their cushy jobs, drinking their space coffee, smoking their space weed, pushing around little things on their desk saying, I want my forces here and the troops over there. When all you look at are statistics and maps, it's hard to see the human element. Damn straight, I Captain Myong. I sincerely hope I never see you across the lines on the battlefield, Captain. If you do, you might Lieutenant, see her in the bar a I little bit later. Do my duty. <laughs> Not if I do my duty first. Oh. <laughs> Soldiers, it's time to get out of the Free Star's hair. Ooh, I got a peacekeeper. Cool. Nice. Well, that's not bad. All right, one second, you guys. I just fell out of my voice party here. Let me fix that. Okay, we're, we're back. As the hero of the Kera, you need So what did I get? I got a little medal as well? Or did she just give me that shotgun or whatever it was, that peacemaker thing? And that was supposed to be my medal of honor, whatever, my badge. Uh, let me see, over here, inventory. Let's see. Here's the peacekeeper right here. Oh, it's one of those. Okay, this is like, oh, not bad, not bad. This is an assault rifle type, right? Yeah, it takes 11 millimeters. Not bad. Yeah, I mean, you know what? Honestly, I noticed during that battle, 
my fiscal quarter, which I didn't name this gun, I just picked it up with a name. I did name the other ones I have, like uh, Heller's Mom's Cutter and her first purse pistol and Bust Your Door Down and all that. But uh, yeah, I noticed fiscal quarter was a little slack lacking, to be honest. I had to use up a whole clip of 40 bullets into one of these spacers before they even, you know, got knocked out. Hmm. So I'm down to try out the Peacekeeper. You know what? Let's switch it out right now. Okay, but as for, like, miscellaneous, did I really get a cool Medal of Honor? Uh, a lot of keys. Nope. Nothing there. How about... Nope. I'd say it'd be in miscellaneous. I didn't see anything in there, sadly. It wouldn't be in the notes. I think maybe she was just talking about the gun, huh? <laughs> Some credits would be nice was one of the options. That's hilarious. They know us so well. Nope, not even a shirt with a little medallion on it. All right, well, that's okay. Yeah, it's probably, I know I want a, a Medal of Honor too, Shadow. Yeah, it was probably a metaphor for the weapon, I'm guessing. What do I have equipped? Oh, my knife, that's hilarious. Looks a little tiny. Little knife right there. Your own cartoon, your own Yes, yes, all right, well, it was see you two lovebirds later. Look around. Savor this. Moments like this are all too yeah, rare. Yeah, savor this victory. Where were you guys during the battle, hmm? I didn't see them anywhere. Not until the end where everyone was dead and then they're kind of like sneaking out. Oh yeah, I had my gun out the whole time. Uh-huh, sure you did, Captain Myong. Uh, why did you really come out here to help the Free Star? Just curious. I will not lie. I wrestled with it. We listened to the she has a crush on the guy. Hours, and it gnawed on me. At a certain point, I just couldn't sit on the sidelines and let them die. Honestly, I came to this side mission for the same reason. I saw that it said they needed help urgently, and I was like, well, I've been putting this off for like months in-game escapees. Let's go ahead and help them. <laughs> and lo and behold, remember how I predicted? I'm like, everyone's probably dead. And yes, everybody except for the main quest givers were already deceased by the time we got here, sadly. Wow, so you made the tough call then, huh? My soldiers weren't all in favor of it, but they were willing to follow my lead. Since I've been here, I know what I did was right. Lieutenant Torres may be green, but he's a good oh, man. Oh, okay, so they mean green His as in His troops are brave, ah. worthy of their uniform. Together, we have a fighting chance. If I get court-martialed over this whole boondoggle, at <laughs> least I can look doggle. myself in the mirror at night. Boondoggle? I might have to put that in the old... Uh vocabulary there uh okay what are you doing in Altair she's obviously helping out those people oh so what do you think about Lieutenant Torres Myong do you think he's kind of cute I mean he looks he said he was single earlier so you know you want to date with him Torres is green no two ways about it but there's more to command than experience yeah there's also looks there's charisma my guess is joking. Torres has a bright future ahead of him Doris's good heart isn't enough to save us. Oof. I think the lieutenant is weak. <gasps> Are you sure you're a UC officer? That's hilarious. Accuse her of not being one. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to say, are you sure you're a UC officer? Propaganda paints us all as villains and heroes. The truth's messier. We're all of us just human beings. True. With families, ideals, and empathy. I've seen too many of us poor bastards pay the price for some damned fool order from command. I've had enough. I've had enough. I think Torres is good heart. In my own honest and sad opinion, Myong, Torres' is good heart isn't enough to save us. I tried to save the world with my good heart, and look what happened. Torn in half! True enough. To get out of this, the price will be paid in blood. In blood! So, uh, oh, okay, well, anyways, 
See you later. Let's We've get this done. So many people. We should start a metal band, Captain Myung. You're pretty dramatic about stuff. The price will be paid in blood. I can just imagine that. Uh, anyways, Lieutenant Torres, how are you doing? The scientists here are good people. Every one of them that died is a loss for all of us. Yeah, it's a damn shame. So many, you know, super smart big brains. Dead on the floor over there. How did this whole mess start, anyways? Spacers have been the problem in this system since I was stationed here. Damn spacers. For a long time, they just go after targets of opportunity. We bloodied their nerves a time or two. But scum. every week there was just more of them. Until, I guess, they decided they could deal with us once and for all. Ugh. Well, you know, Captain Myong seems to be quite fond of you. How about you, though? Do you have a problem with the Marines here? When the Marines first landed, I thought that maybe they had a secret alliance <laughs> with the Spacers. He's like, we're being ambushed! But quickly, it became clear that they were here to help. I can still reason. No, we I don't all know hate spacers. The courage or Damn spacers. Humanity of Captain Myung if the tables were turned. I'd like to think I would. Oh, well. He didn't uh, really praise her as much as she praised him. I'm guessing maybe, you know, it's not I meant to be. Look around. About your life. Same to be made into yep. A movie? Moments like this and are all too bad. All right, well, it looks good. I'd say quest complete hype. Yay, good. Damn, that whole quest took almost like three hours. I know it took me a while to actually choose what quest we were gonna do today, but I honestly thought this would be done as soon as we cleared out that particular building back there. But man, it just kept going and going. Uh, long story short, free star rangers. And you know what, I'm gonna pause it because Adoring fan's gonna start talking and it's gonna confuse me, so. Uh, long story short with that quest, Free Star Rangers, UC Marines, used to be bitter bro uh, enemies, bitter rivals, yada yada yada, they still kind of are. The Free Star Rangers were going in here, they were helping out the scientists and stuff. They got raided by a bunch of spacers and sadly they were overtaken, a lot of scientists died, a lot of Free Star Rangers died, and they sent out a distress signal. That's where I come in. One of my missions, apparently I was flying around, I must have heard word that somebody, you know, needed help or something. But anyway, somehow I heard this distress signal, and I had been putting it off for days and days IRL and probably months and months in game time. And it said they needed help urgently, so I was like, alright, you know, we've been putting this off for a long time. We go there, turns out, yes indeed, a lot of these scientists and the Freestar and the UC Marines who went to help them are all, you know, deceased. They've been murdered, sadly. Uh, so we go through, we kill a bunch of spacers, we talk to one person, they send us to another NPC, we continue on, kill more spacers, talk to the other NPC, continue on the building, kill more spacers, talk to the final NPC. That guy tells us, oh hey, there's a big old ambush on this other on the other side of the planet over here. Go take care of that. So we fly over there, uh, wipe out all those spacers there too. And oh, oh, that's right, that's right. No, no, no. We flew into space, had that space battle, and then we come back down, and then we finally clear out that final battle that we just had on stream. So, whoo! That was three different battles that we had to complete, all for one side quest. That side quest was called Ground Pounder, just in case you want to do it. Um, the reward for the quest happened to be the Peacemaker, which I'm going to start using. Why not? I need a new assault rifle. The one I use kind of sucks. So, uh, yeah, this one's not too bad. Let me try it out real quick, too. But yeah, what I thought was going to be just a simple, you know, go and kill some spacer type mission turned into this whole thing. We've been here for days. But the, old, the good part, though, too, is that we picked up so much, you know, extra random weapons and stuff that we're going to make a lot of credits when we get back. Yeah, that's probably better than the assault rifle that I was using. The only sadness is now I have to buy new ammo, 11 millimeter ammo. All right, that's good. It's a nice heavy assault rifle. Cool. But yeah, that's the reward for finishing Ground Pounder. What this quest was called. 
<laughs> You're such a hero. Bards will sing your praises for generations to come. Oh, it's all good, Fuzzy. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for coming in, you guys. Uh, we are pretty much... I'll just do a heads up right now. I'm pretty much going to end the stream, but... If you want to hang out for a few minutes, I'm just going to go and try to sell a bunch of junk. Oops! I was supposed to take off and I exited the ship. That's hilarious. Wah, wah. I found something you might like. The way it's shaped reminded me of you. Yeah, he keeps telling me he has something and I've never taken it, or at least I haven't got whatever it is from him yet. I'm like, oh, just keep it adoring fan. It's probably some weird rock or something. Probably some stuff we don't need. Oh yeah, good point, Fuzzy. Fuzzy uncle up there said, I don't want no stinking metal. Then when people see it, you feel beholden to, yeah, to the deep that you earned it with, right? Then people start expecting more of you. Good point. That makes sense too, you're right. Well, okay, I'd like to have the metal and then just keep it at my house. <laughs> Not display it, just be like, oh no, I'm just some nobody here, no. And really, we got like five or six medals, that'd be amazing. All right, uh, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, yeah. Let's get back to New Atlantis. Oh, you know what? All right, I'm not gonna end this stream just yet. Let me do a little shopping and then I'll come back and I'm gonna find that temple on stream. There's a temple over here in Altair solar system, but I am like horribly over encumbered. So let me just do a little shopping here real quick. So if you want to stick around, feel free to do so. Uh, but after the temple, I'll probably end the cast. Uh, let's see. Now let's go to, not the lodge, but yeah, the commercial district. Excellent. Yeah, thank you for kicking it today, escapees. Good stream. A little quiet on the chat side. That's nobody's fault. Thank you for lurking, escapees. I'm just always hoping to have uh, more people in chat so I can bounce stuff off. Or, you know, sometimes you guys are hilarious too. I like some of the jokes that you uh, throw in chat too, escapees. Yeah, I do like the Starborn powers. True, true. You might like. Oh, all right, all right. God, you've, you've told me like six times already. Okay, give me the item. I love it's my coffee second too. Favorite thing in the yes, of course. Yes. Hopefully it will serve you as well as I have. Oh. Well, he's quite sure of himself. A fork? Adoring fan. He was bickering and bothering about this fork for hours. Hours. I was thinking it was gonna be like some grand, you know, I don't know, something amazing. A giant bouquet of flowers, you know, maybe a chunk of gold, a gold nugget. No, it's a fork. He gives me a fork. Back to work then. And then people questioned why I didn't take him along for longer last time. Now we know. <laughs> I'm all upset. Hilarious. Yes, he's been bothering me about that damn fork for hours. I have something for you. It's shaped just like you. Oh, I'm shaped like a fork. Thank you. Hopefully that means I have a big ass. <laughs> a big, nice, round, juicy and ass. Please right. report that our stocks are currently being We're maintained at 90% or, or higher. Something. <laughs> I'm sure we have anything you might need. All right. Oh, sorry about what that. Do you see distribution? Coming in and complaining something to this poor woman's you? store. My apologies. Didn't mean to, you know, come in bickering. I hope we have what you need. I'm sure you do. Credits. That's all I need. Oh, uh, let's see. First things first. Let's sell some of these crappy weapons here. Well, not crappy. It's just, you know, I have quite a few of these already. But yeah, me, weapons-wise, I honestly just pick up and use... And you can tell I have such a wide variety of weapons on me. Um, yeah, I'm playing this like I play a regular Bethesda RPG. I know in Fallout 76 I have a specialized character, but that is my first ever specialized character. 
usually when I play any sort of Bethesda RPG, I have weapons of all categories, just like I do here. I don't usually like put a bunch of points into one category and go like all SMGs or all pistols or only shotguns and stuff. No, I have a, a weapon for pretty much every situation. We're going to have an assault rifle, an SMG, a sniper rifle for range. I have a melee for short range too, just in case. Uh, and then what do I have? Another shotgun for close up range. I have a couple laser weapons because these are cool. They're assault rifles too. But, uh, you know, the laser variety, so a little different. But yeah, somebody asked me earlier, how do I choose my weapons? And yeah, it's just, ooh, fly. And yeah, it's just, hey, did you guys see that fly? Oh, it wasn't caught on camera. Yeah, it almost landed like right on my nose. That's crazy. Um, yeah, I have a weapon for pretty much every situation. I haven't bought any special ones. If it has a special name, it's because you can rename your weapons in Starfield. So, for example, I renamed my shotgun the Bust Your Door Down! Because I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, got a couple more items to sell here, if I can. We're still a little over encumbered. Don't worry. Uh, I have to buy some of her ammo, so she'll get some credits back, too. Let's see. So the new weapon that I picked up takes 11 millimeter ammunition, but I don't want all of those. Whew, that's an arm and a leg right there. Dude, that's expensive ammo. 100 rounds for 3,000 credits. Whoo! What does it look like? I'm made out of money or something? Jeez. All right, well, thankfully, we have a lot of stuff left to sell, so you know what? It's okay if she gets some of those credits back. So I'm just buying a bunch of ammunition that my weapons do use. You know what? Give me some more 11 millimeter. Oh, I think I also use, yeah, the laser cartridges as well. Does she have any 6.5? Oh, she does. Good. I need some of that too. All right, so she's up 12,000 credits. Those are my credits. So I'm hoping to make them back by selling more stuff. Let's see. Oh, oh sorry, sorry, that's buying. Ho oh, ho, almost bought some stuff. I did do that one of my first days on Starfield. Instead of selling things, I was accidentally buying stuff and I was like, no, because I spent all my damn credits. That's why I love streaming games super early on and blind without any help, because I make mistakes like that. I think it's funny as fuzz. Now I've played enough that I'm like, oh, okay, I kind of know what I'm doing. And so now it's not, you know, there's not too many of those funny mistake moments. There was one earlier, remember I uh, was supposed to lift off the ship and I got off of it instead. Oops. That was embarrassing. And if you're just coming in, we just got done. Ooh, black leather. I was about to sell that, but I do like black leather though. Mm -hmm. I'll keep it. I have two inclement weather outfits now. In addition to the stolen one that's back at the lodge. Maybe I should give one to Adoring Fan and we'll go twinsies again. Space trucker hat, cool. And the utility headphones, not a bad uh, hat. At least it has some headphones on it. Dude, I was trying to throw grenades during that battle and it sucked. I was pressing the button and holding it and it wouldn't do anything. And I'd have to wait. Maybe there's like a cooldown on grenades or something. Cause I was like throwing one and trying to throw one again immediately after. And it just wasn't working that way. So that was a shame. I wanted to like lob a bunch of grenades into that ship. I was trying, I was trying my hardest. All right, let's see here. There's the fork. I guess I could use it as a back scratcher adoring fan. And these, I like using these micro floating terrariums for uh, decoration because they're so cool. I like them. Uh, okay, so I sold from my own inventory. Now I got to sell from the ship's inventory, which we have a lot more weapons here. Those. We have these five here. An old earth shotgun. I think I'll keep that. I am collecting the old earth weapons. 
My character doesn't use any of them in particular, but I do have some. Alright, and just like that, we made most of our money back already. Yeah, those are close to IRL prices. Oh, man. Yeah, those are expensive. Some of these weapons are super expensive. All right, looks good. So that's about it. She's only got 73 credits left. What I do after that... Back to it then. So that I'm not, you know, spending all my money or just trading credits when for Rain ammo and all that is tip. we go to store number two here, which I like to go underground to the well. And that's where we're gonna go and sell to the UC surplus guy. Let me just save it. Cause that was a pain in the butt to do right now. Oh yeah, so come here, adoring fan. Do you need anything? Actually, no, no, no. Gladly. I just, you know. I'll do my best to preserve every item. Yeah, yeah. I got another outfit for you. It's uh, the same one that I have, actually. So we'll we'll go ahead and be inclement weather outfit buddies, which is perfect for my IRL weather today. It did rain a little bit. Yup. We hadn't had rain since, man, it's been like a good month or so, I think. But I've been missing the rain low-key. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I do like the rain. I live in like the dry part of Washington, so we don't get too much. Definitely not as much as Seattle, that's for sure. Um, okay, so I equipped that on him. Yeah, there you are! Woo! That's looking good! good Wow, that looks profit, great on him. But you always manage. Dude, you look fantastic. Damn, he looks better than my character in that outfit. What the fuzz? All right, but anyways, we're going to play twinsies for a little bit here. And I'm going to put the same outfit on too. Yay. Oh, but I'm going one step further. I'm going to put the hat on too. So not exactly twinsies, huh? Uh, let's do that yellow hat, the space trucker one, I think. New hat that we got. Yeah, there we go. Ah, uh, it doesn't match perfectly, but close enough. A hoodie and a hat, lol. That's hilarious. Alright, there we go. Yes, twinsies! Woo! Now we get to run around looking goofy, I love it. Yeah, hey, hey, you get over here. You didn't have a problem with personal space before. Hold my hand, adoring fan. Trying to hold your hands. Keep your nose clean. The last thing I want is to charge you for a DP in A and B, B and E, or heaven forbid, in MS. But at least then we wouldn't have to worry about a VOP, am I right? See, this guy's not worried about personal space here. In fact, I think he kind of likes it. All right, let's get out of here. Good, we look good. Excellent. To the other store. So the quickest way, I still forgot where that damn elevator's at. But I'm pretty sure there's a way from here to get down to the well. The way I do it is I just fast travel or I go to the mass district and then I go into that little side elevator. That's the only one I remember for some reason. I like the rain too. Oh, it makes the body ache. No, I'm sorry to hear that. Hey, but at least you got that premonition though. Great day. When your knee starts hurting, it's like, oh, I think it's gonna rain today, and then, voila, it does. Surprise. Oh, he's fast. You made it in, adoring fan. <laughs> just as I close the door. Sometimes Sam doesn't make it, and I just close the door on him, like, ah, see you later. That should have ran faster. So we're just doing a little shopping right now, escapees. But the last thing I do before I'm going to end the stream is I'm going to go back to Altair. There's one more planet that has an artifact temple. The only reason I figured that out is I got close enough to the planet. So uh, we're going to get another word of power here shortly. Let me just sell some stuff. So I like going to the UC surplus. And uh, funny enough, we're both wearing that outfit that I stole one time from this very same store. That was like either stream one or two of this game. Hilarious. In fact, is the mannequin still here? Yeah, this was the mannequin. Here's a, another version of our outfit. Looks snazzy, huh? 
I won't steal it this time. I thought in order to buy these uh, outfits that the mannequin had, we had to, you know, just open it. And no, that's apparently stealing. Oops. Oops. Personally, I got contacts all over. Yeah, Stock of course you do. So reliable. All right, let's die. see what you got. Let's see I what got you got. All, day. all right. Uh, so that's buying. Let's sell him the rest of the stuff that I don't need. And also, my friend, the adoring fan, has some stuff too. Almost forgot about that. Oh, this guy only has 13. 150 credits. Oh man, he's broke. I was only able to sell him two weapons here. Alright, that's fine though. I can buy some more ammo. It becomes an ammo trading thing. I do need a lot of 11mm uh, rounds though. So I have a new gun! We just got it as a reward for finishing the Ground Pounders side quest. Kind of interesting side quest. The UC... Um, what you call it? UC Marines working together with their enemies, the Freestar Agents. Or Freestar Rangers, I should say. Technophiles Pacifier. This is kind of cool though, too. That's a nice shotgun. Is that better than the shotgun I have? I don't know, I'll keep it though, just in case. It might be. It's got a silencer on it too, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I use a lot of the modded weapons that I don't mod out myself. I did recently and stuff, but a lot of the weapons that I pick up and decide to use, they have mods already attached, especially the ones that I can't make. Uh, like that particular sniper rifle. It, uh, it had that long scope, which I can't make at all. All right, yeah, let's just get rid of all of these, I would say. Oh, all right, he already ran out of money. Good enough, we'll let him be. Hey, right, take it easy. All right, thank you, Antonio. I'll come back when you have more credits. So one more thing I just remembered. Yesterday's stream, we did finish a random quest, but it actually had to do with the merchant as well. Let me know if I can help you. Over here in the Apex Electronics, we smuggled a package. I don't even know what was in the package. Uh, we didn't get searched or anything, but I smuggled a package for this Salinas dude here. Don't mind me. And he's able Just to show us man. like different weird weapons. So let's check out and his inventory today. His side quest or side note with Salinas, you can only talk to him once. If you exit his inventory and try like, oh, oh, actually I wanted to buy that. He's like, oh, you walked away. I thought that meant you were done. And he won't show you guns until later on. So uh, yeah, I learned that yesterday. Hey, Selena. It's a quaint shop, isn't it? I like it here. And this guy has some uh, fancy weapons, so let's see what you have for sale. Okay then, come on back. Leak? You talking about the Xbox leak, Fuzzy? What'd you think about the Xbox leak? Uh, things I'm most excited for, if they're still happening, all that stuff is still kind of supposed. Uh, I'm happy for Fallout 3 Remake and Oblivion Remaster as well. Excuse me, Fallout 3 Remaster, Oblivion Remaster. Not Remake. <laughs> Alright, let's see what you got for sale. Let's keep this just between us, alright? Alright. Let's just see it all. Oh, no, 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 I don't really want to see his ammunition. Let's see your weapons here. Oh, he has the same ones. The acid rain is still here. This one's kind of cool. It's like a, a Grendel that has corrosive power. Advanced Grendel, so see, kind of similar weapon. I like the skin on that, though. That's a cool skin. The Big Bang. A particle beam shooter. Particle beam shotgun, nice. I do have particle beam weaponry on my spaceship. Which I heard is pretty OP. Baller's Equinox, calibrated Novalite. He's got some pacifiers here too, those shotguns. Dude, 120 damage. The other one I had only did 77, and I still thought that was impressive. This one must have some cool mod on it or something. Modified Maelstrom. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, this thing, the auto rivet. I kind of wanted one of these. Just to see what the heck it is. But it's kind of expensive, though. Suppressed calibrated shoddy. That's a weird shotgun. It does use these shells, though. Regular ballistic shells. Huh. Weird. <laughs> Weapons of the future. They all look like they're uh, 3D printed, huh? Hey, what's up, Quivy Room? Welcome in. Yo, what's up, Samurai Hunter? Yeah, Fallout 3 and Oblivion getting that remaster, too. That's what I'm most excited for. Yes, indeed. Starfield's getting some DLC. Uh, but remember, that list is kind of tentative, because Starfield, on the according to that list, was supposed to come out like 2020, right? Obviously didn't come out until 2023. Uh, there's DLC planned for like 2022 or something for Starfield. And I'm sure they've still been working on it, so that'll probably come out six to a year, six months to a year, I would say. Uh, but yeah, I hope they still have those remasters going on. That'd be nice. I'd play uh, Fallout 3 and Oblivion over again. I kind of like this acid rain just because it looks so cool. I'm going to buy this just for fun. It looks cool. I might not even use it. I might just store it at my unlimited, you know, box in the, uh, in the lodge and stuff. But it looks cool. Now this rivet, what the fuzz is this? It looks like a jackhammer, dude. And it shoots out rivets, whatever the fuzz that is. All right, I'll buy it. I have a lot of stuff to sell anyway, so we'll get some of these credits back. All right, now, back to selling. Oh, he only buys weapons, though. Oh, damn it. All right, well, I guess we're not going to get some of these credits back. <laughs> Never mind. I thought he might want to, you know, buy some of the uh, outfits that I have for sale, but I guess not. All right, thank you. Now let's see what this rivet no gun boy. does. Like, okay, I don't have the patience. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, I've never used a rivet gun before. I hope it was a gun. Where is it at? Did I not buy it? Oh, <gasps> did I get robbed? Oh, oh, there it is. Modified auto rivet. I was like, hey, I gave him the credits. For oh, that's why. Okay, makes sense. It's a heavy weapon. That's what that little handle's for. Duh. Alright, I, I was thinking, I, don't, I have no idea why, but I was thinking it was a small handgun with just like a random ass little handle on the side. Okay, ready? Yo, Selena's, thanks for the gun. What are you doing? I'm just More testing it out. Are they really gone? Or did they see you and we assess? Dude, all the screaming, that's crazy. I've never caused a ruckus in the well, dude. It goes wild. Everybody's screaming, oh, damn. Yeah, where's that one lady? Yeah, we worked on a quest with this lady. She's crazy. No, you don't. Hold your horse till I reload. Out of the way. Yeah, the quest giver apparently can't die, sadly. Alright, everybody's still screaming out here. As per usual, security is terrible. Well, good chance to, uh, yeah, let's uh, test out the peacemaker. Ooh, definitely an upgrade from my last assault rifle. This weapon that I'm using right now, we just got as a reward. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, hey, hey, hey. No shooting my follower. That's my job. No, I'm just joking. All right, all right, enough tomfoolery. Load it up. But yeah, I got the rivet gun. That's okay, I'll put it in the box. <laughs> Use your powers. Yeah, nice and deadly.
<laughs> Your weapons are too plain, right? We need fancy weapons. Hey, we leveled to 31 as well. Nice. No I saw when we were level 30. I don't have the patience for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'll take my credits elsewhere then, sir. All right. Ready to go, scapees. Last thing we're going to do today is... This quest randomly just popped up when I was in the Altair solar system. So let's get back to Altair, which, yes, was exact place that we were just at for that other quest but this will be a bit easier to complete this shouldn't take more than like five ten minutes I'd say oh no not the civilian outpost what am I thinking oh and I'm over encumbered right now I can't go anywhere damn it all right hold my horse then must have been the that rivet thing that I bought huh Hey, uh, adoring fan, are you still over encumbered too? I think you are, huh? Oh my huh? god, I'm literally fine. Look at the NPC back there. Burden, mighty one. Dude, she's like high on chems or something. <laughs> she's like, mm, just spacing out. Oh my gosh. That was wild. Uh, oh, no, no, he does have space to hold some stuff. Good, good. You are sworn to carry my burdens. Six pounds for that thing. Nice. Yeah, those eyes, dude. She looked all cracked out. Look, look, look. Watch the NPC. She thinks we're not watching her. Look, look, look. Does she even blink? Okay, she blinked once. She blinked once. I didn't move the camera. She was like done with it. She's like, move the camera back to that guy. Be all right. Part of your crew. Now we can fast travel. That's hilarious. Yeah, some of the NPCs in this game do look really goofy. That's true. Hopefully, when they... We were talking about the remaster and the leaks and stuff, uh, I think yesterday on the stream, and it's like, hopefully, when they do remaster Fallout 3 and... But I'm not holding my breath, but hopefully when they do remaster Fallout 3 and Oblivion, I was like, what if they use realistic faces? Like, you know, it would be amazing to have, like... Red Dead Redemption 2 human style graphics over in Fallout 3 or in Oblivion. It'd be amazing. Of course, it's probably not going to happen. But you know, one can always hope. I would love to see like crazy realistic graphics in uh, any of the Bethesda RPGs. Meaning, yes, I don't think this one has it, sadly. No, they only work. In my opinion, for Starfield, they only kind of worked on the NPCs' faces. Any other, uh, or like the quest giver You're NPCs. Time to make the smart decision. Uh, what do you want? We could use a vacation. Oh, these guys are shaking us down. Us Not on my watch. Help us out. Or we could just dust your ship. Uh, well, you know. Yeah, I think I'm gonna give you a load of nothing. Well, that's how you want to play it. Let's go! Always ready for a good spaceship battle. Uh, there we are. Yeah, let's do it. He's fast though. Let's do this. Alright, there goes his shield. A couple missiles his way. Have him sing in a different tune, won't it? Yeah, we were like doing some direct combat right there. That's crazy. Alright. Lower the speed a little bit. Walk onto this guy. There goes his shield. Flying right ahead of him. Direct missile hit right there. Oh, oh! Yeah, earlier I crashed into the shrapnel and actually caused some damage. <coughs> it's like, whoops. Who's coughing back there? No coughing. Cover your mouth. Well, that's what they get for trying to shake us down. I don't remember fighting so many, uh... Oh, is that the... Hey! Were these the spacers that we fought earlier? Remember, I had no space on my ship, and yes, we were at the same planet. And so I had to leave... 
all of that, you know, extra stuff. I think this is it. That's cool. Hell yeah. I'll take some free stuff. I mean, we did technically kill those spacers earlier, so. All right, let's just get the last piece of debris over here. And then we'll land this ship. ourselves a word of power, shall we? Oh. Trying to, yep, trying to do it. There we are. I was pressing holding X, that's what was going on there. <laughs> Yo, it's a hollow fiend. My seven starving children, please, if you have any biddies or donations or <gasps> perhaps five dollars for September, it would really help out my seven starving kids. I didn't have a helmet. There we go. There, so there was a reason for me taking off. No, there wasn't. <laughs> Except for the fact I pressed the wrong button. Alright, let's see. But at least I didn't, you know, end up stepping out of the ship and blowing up our head. We're good. Our eyeballs didn't, you know, pop out of their sockets. That's a good day in my book. Yeah, back to orbit, huh? Oh, just kidding, adoring fan. I'm gonna waste some space fuel. <laughs> Have us back up there. <laughs> yeah, my word of power is no. Fus or no. Also, a little side note with the ship and stuff. Um, I noticed that sometimes my cargo, I'm not sure what they're called, cargo bays, those two big cargo boxes on the side of the ship, sometimes they flip somehow. And where it says Star Freight Logistics, the brand name or whatever, it'll be upside down. And I have nothing to do with that. I have no idea how, you know, I, I don't know. I just have no idea. Oh, you know what? I forgot to look out to see where the tower was, but I think it's over there. Let me see. Let me make sure. I'm going to get back in the pilot seat. We're not going to take off. I'm going to try to pinpoint the tower, though, from this location. Oh, there it is. Right there. Yep, right there. There's the tower we need. All right, got it. Hey, how are you? Come on, adoring fan, put your suit on. Seeing the stars from space. Yeah, this worker, by the way, I have no idea who the heck this is, how she got on our ship. I have no idea. If you missed it earlier, though, off stream when I was playing by myself last night, I did steal another ship that has huge cargo on it. Uh, I went and landed on some random planet because I was doing a, another bounty or whatever. It was just like a leave some workers on some planet. So I went there and you have to disembark or get off the ship, right? And when I was doing that, I noticed there was another cool ship kind of like not exactly right next to mine at the viewport or at the uh, spaceport and stuff, but it was like on the spaceport on the other side. And I was like, oh, that's a cool ship. I'm just going to go see. I didn't see anyone at the bottom or in the ground or anything. So I said, oh, I'm just gonna go, uh, you know, take a little look. And I went up to the hatch, still nobody around except for me and the adoring fan. And I 
unlock it with an advanced level lockpick. And so I go onto the ship, I'm like, oh, hello, you know, just checking, you just want to see who's here. And I go all the way to the cockpit and stuff, looking to see if the captain's, you know, available. And no, there's nobody there. So I'm like looking around, I'm like, hmm, all right, free spaceship. And I went and I stole it and I didn't get any bounty, nothing. I was able to leave. I registered it in my name already. So now it's legally ours. But the weird thing about that was, even though I swear I checked like a lot of, I checked two levels of the ship at least. It only had a downstairs and an upstairs. But in those rooms, I didn't see anyone. So when I was stealing the ship, leaving orbit, I heard a man's voice and it wasn't a Doring fan. He has like a, a very unique voice perfect timing for him to start talking by the way and I hear a man's voice as we're leaving orbit and they say like I have something that you might want and I'm like who the fuzz is that I'm like oh no I might have taken one of the crew with me on accident when I stole the ship oh somebody was in the crew you know and uh, I have no idea though but it ties in with this lady because I have no idea who this lady is either where is she at this one seeing the stars from space always gives me goosebumps yeah, I have no idea where I picked her up from. I don't know. Just blows my mind. But somebody earlier said maybe that was the crew that you picked up with the other ship. But I don't know. I don't think it can be because I heard a man's voice, not a woman's. And this is a completely different ship. This ship was our original ship. Not the Frontier, but the one I had after it. So, yeah, I don't know. It's just very strange. Really weird. I'll try to, uh, Basic I'll post time. the clip. Luckily, when I have time I had to edit it and stuff. Beforehand. Yeah, alright. This shouldn't be too bad, adoring fan. We already know where the temple is. It's right here. Because lucky for us, it's a big one and it's very close. Oh no, who is it now? Go away! So yeah, we're just going to a temple of power get our word of power. No lollygagging. Yeah, it's a hitchhiker, exactly. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yeah, it was a stowaway. She's a stowaway. Man, going back to when I was first looking for these temples and stuff. Oh my gosh. My first temple took three hours to find. Uh oh. What is it? Who is it now? More spacers landing. This is a really cool entrance right there. Temple Tau. Like it. Yeah, I have no idea where that other ship landed, but I ignored it. <laughs> All right, hopefully that's the entrance over there. But yeah, now that I know how easy it is to find these artifact temples, oh, I'm like, man, I wish I would have known. Because I, at first, I didn't even know we were looking for a temple in the first place, you know? They don't tell you. Vlad Vladimir says, oh, I've just found a slightly bigger signal that might be like a bigger artifact. I don't know. And so I'm over here looking for bigger artifacts. Lo and behold, it's actually a damn temple I was looking for. <laughs> Had I known that in the beginning, I would have looked for a temple in the first place, or, you know, a giant castle-looking thing. Nope. Yeah, we might see some aliens. Who knows? All right, here we go. That's funny. Usually these things go down as we approach, not the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> They went up this time, that's weird. Oh, this is your first time doing this, adoring fan. I've never taken him through one of these temples. Ooh, you're gonna love this, this will be fun. You're gonna enjoy it. Get ready to be weightless. Yeah, castle looking thing. I was over here looking for a slightly larger artifact, just a broken rock. No, no, no it's a temple, ah. Oh, well, I wish I would've known. So this is what's inside of the Artifact Temple. I've said it before, I'll say it again. These places remind me of the Dragon Stones that we have to go to in Skyrim. You just gotta pass through these lights. 
And there's no time limit or anything on it. At least I don't think so. My first time I did this incredibly slow and it still went through. Let's try to pass through. Woo! Oh, I almost got chopped in half. thing just starts spinning faster and faster. Okay, we're going through. Let's see if we can make it. Oh, I got stuck. <laughs> I got stuck in the cylinder. Or, excuse me, the sphere. Damn. Hey, was that the adorable fan? Okay, it looked like he got thrown up into the sky. What's going on, Adoring Fan? Are you okay? Uh-oh. It was too much for him, you guys. He started seizing. Damn. Any doctors in chat? Oh, he's seizing. I think it's too much for him, you guys. It's too much for him. He's seizing up. It's okay, Adoring Fan. not taking it well at all. The other companions never had seizures. Whew. All right, it's way too OP for a poor adoring fan there. Man, I hope you're okay. It's all my fault, I brought him here. No. Yeah, he's a bit twitchy, huh? Ooh, that's a pretty one. I like that one. That one's beautiful. Adoring fan, oh, adoring oh, fan. Oh, oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, spacers. Oh, it's a star guy, star guy. You know what? Perfect time to use our powers against him. Let's see here. Which one could we use? Ooh, gravity wave. That just gives a little gravity push though. Now let's use the one where it allows me to see them. Yeah, sense star stuff. Sorry, ah, I'm see you now, I'm mother trucker. Yeah, how you like me now, huh? Good. Buzz them. Are you okay? You all right? By the way, are you all right with the seizures and stuff? Oh man, that's a little bit of blood. Oh, I thought that was blood, never mind. It's just a shadow. <laughs> Yeah, I hope you're okay. Maybe I won't bring you to the next temple. Didn't know that would happen. All right, so here's one of the starborn. Oh, well, he was there. They're invisible, so I'm sure his body's probably still there. You just can't see it no more. <laughs> yeah, if you haven't gotten that far in the main quest yet, eventually you'll run into the starborn too. But that's all I'll say today. <laughs> it's a main quest. Oh, sent 500 credits home to the family. That's good. They can have more if they want. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's see what uh, power we got right now. You know what? I should have used the new power on the enemy. We know about gravity wave. I know about precognition. Oh, okay. The one we just unlocked is reactive shield. Yeah, because I remember Grav Dash, Personal Atmosphere, Anti-Grav Field is the very first one that we got. Sense Star stuff is the one I like to use because you can see all the enemies around you. So that means that a reactive shield is what we got. All right, let's see what it does. Yeah. Oh, it's just a shield like ahead of us. Ooh, that'd be nice. Dude, you know how I love to run in head first in battles. Ooh, that's gonna be so nice if I remember to use that. Yeah, that'd be cool. All right, all right. And there we go. Just like that, it's over. I could do another one right off the bat. All right, not too bad. 
Cool, GG everyone. That's a victory right there. Well, thank you for hanging out with me, escapees. I'm gonna call it here. We had a good three hour, 51 minute stream, not bad. But yeah, thank you for coming in. Thank you for coming in at the end too. I appreciate it. Made things very much more entertaining for me too, Fuzzy. So thank you for that, keeping me company. I do appreciate it. Yay! I wasn't all alone, yes. People in chat earlier, you guys rock too. Thank you so much. Lurkers, everybody, have a great rest of your Wednesday. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be back later, but I might. We'll just see how it goes. I'm not gonna go outside to work out today because it did rain. And uh, yeah, oh man, I got a nasty old blister on my foot from yesterday's jog. So uh, I probably won't be doing that at least for, well, definitely not today. Tomorrow, you know, maybe, we'll see. But yeah, thank you again. If you enjoyed the stream, please consider hitting the follow button for me here on Twitch. It'd be awesome and amazing. Thank you to all that do, that do follow already, those that already follow. I appreciate it a lot. You can find any of my social media on the links right there in chat. If you're on laptop, you should be that way. If you're on mobile phone, I think they're right below down there in chat. But yes, consider considering hitting the follow button or checking out any of my social media, you can find me at soul underscore escape. That's capital S-O-U-L underscore three S-C-4-P-3. Capital S-O-U-L underscore three S-C-4-P-3. I do apologize though. Honestly, like, okay, yesterday's stream when we had no camera and stuff, dude, I was going through these side quests, like we got at least three or four done. Boom, 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 boom. And a couple bounties here. Today's mission, dude, that first side quest that we did, Ground Pounder, whoo, that took a good three hours. I'm like, damn. There was a lot of space for killing. We did level up at least once. And we got a sick new weapon out of it too, so that's cool. I have it equipped right there. But uh, yeah, I feel just a tad bit disappointed in my own self for not, you know, Honestly, I didn't even know, though, that that quest was going to take that long. But yeah, I was hoping to, like, knock out a bunch of quests today, too. But, whew, it took a while, escapees. We did get the temple done, though, so that's good. Um, yeah, have a good rest of your night. Links are in the chat. Find me at soul underscore escape, capital S-E-U-L underscore three S C four P three on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, OnlyFans, Steam, all that good stuff. Solar Escape for the Snapchat, a little bit of a name change there. S O U L 0 U R 3 S E A P E, S O U L 0 U R 3 S E A P E, and Soul Space Escape for the Xbox Gamer Tag. Capital S O U L Space 3 S E 4 P 3, S O U L Space 3 S E 4 P 3. Thank you so much, you guys. Couldn't have done it without your help. Your host or followers, we're currently at 9,800 followers. Thank you so much. I haven't updated the card. Woo! And as always, you guys, have a good rest of your Wednesday. Thank you for hanging out with me here on the Soul Stream. Hopefully, catch you next time, escapees. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's see. I'll be honest. Okay, so yesterday I raided up Popski, and I'll be honest, he did not have, like, he seemed kind of like, I don't know, never mind, I won't say nothing. I'll just say I barely got a thank you. <laughs> let's read a sour Kool-Aid show today. There we are. Yeah, when we raided up Popsky, he was just kind of like, oh, hey, Soul, thanks for the raid, and then just went right back to doing what he does. I mean, which is cool, but I mean, usually it's, uh, and, and I'm not judging, well, okay, I'm judging a little bit, but yeah, it's kind of like courtesy to be like, oh, hey, Soul, you know, uh, Soul Escape's another streamer, blah, blah, blah. I don't know, I always shout out the, the people that raid me and stuff, so I was a little bit, you know, sad. But whatever, whatever, I mean, that's just how it goes. Some people don't do that, and that's cool. But yeah, if you want to help me soul raid Sour Kool-Aid show, I've been watching him forever. He is one of my favorite streamers. All right, thank you again, escapees. And as always, ever onward, ever forward, hopefully catch you next time on the soul stream. Peace, everybody, go raid! I'll catch you next time. Bye, everyone. See you later. <laughs>